Chapter 2941 Exceptionally Talented A self-made genius Long Chen quickly rushed toward a large tower in the distance. As he walked, he slowly smiled disdainfully. He could sense several pairs of eyes on him wherever he went, but when he turned around, he didn't see anyone. That meant that these people were experts in concealing. However, they couldn't conceal themselves from the nine-star hegemon body art senses. Long Chen sighed. The Chu family truly did have eyes everywhere. He had just left his immortal cave and their eyes already fell on him. They truly had immense power here. However, he wasn't afraid. If they dared to touch him, he would directly kill them. Originally, his hatred for the Chu family stemmed from Long Aotian's mother. She was the one who had harmed his father, his mother, and him, forcing them to separate. Even then, Long Chen's hatred would have been concentrated only on her, not the rest of the Chu family. However, now Long Chen knew that the Chu family was one of Brahma's dogs, so he no longer had any misjivings. He would kill everyone from the Chu family, the Divine Scripture Pavilion. He, Long Chen arrived at the Inner Academy's Divine Scripture Pavilion. However, before he even entered, he was forced out. The rule was that only divine flame experts and above could enter this place. Furthermore, entering this place required a ticket. One entrance was 30,000 immortal crystals for him, and that was thanks to his status as a mortal rank instructor. Unless he reached the human rank as an instructor, he couldn't go in for free. He then went to the testing place for instructors, and an earth rank instructor explained things to him. The latter was very polite. He said that Heaven Master Yun Yang had brought him in. He told Long Chen that with his power, there was no need to take the exam but there was an inflexible standard that human rank instructors needed to reach the Divine Flame Realm first. As long as Long Chen advanced to the Divine Flame Realm, he would be directly given the human rank instructor status plate. Hence, Long Chen could only leave for now. He had come to the Divine Scripture Pavilion in hopes of obtaining the Nirvana Scripture. He wanted to see if it was the same as his Nirvana Scripture. Furthermore, after he saw it, he would be able to freely use the Nirvana Scripture, which would be another trump card that he didn't need to hide for fear of the consequences. Unfortunately, there were still three days until he could make his breakthrough. Mu King Gyan and the others finished registering for the Divine Flame Spirit Pool as well and were in the midst of establishing the unfettered alliance within the Inner Academy. Not wanting to laze around, Long Chen went to the Pill Institute. Fortunately, the Pill Institute didn't care about the cultivation realm of their disciples, and Long Chen actually saw the Seven Star Elder here. I didn't expect you to have come out of seclusion already. Long Chen was surprised. Last time. A disciple had informed him that the Seven Star Elder would only be coming out around half a month from now. It was a failure. So I came out early. But you really are amazing. Our Pill Institute has actually produced a fighting alchemist. It's quite the marvel. The Seven Star Elder Hizayu smiled. Alchemists were supposed to maintain a clear heart. Focusing entirely on increasing their spiritual strength and mental energy. At the same time. They had to cultivate the pill deos. Only when the heart was at peace and the mind was bright could you refine pills. With Long Chen's explosive temper, he had charged his way through the God Institute and entered the Inner Academy. That was definitely a marvel. Senior, are you being sarcastic with me? This Academy has far too many idiots. If you don't slap them, they block your way. What other choice is there? Long Chen bitterly smiled. If you had a choice. Who would wish to waste time on these idiots? Long Chen had far too many more important things to do. What have you come to the Pill Institute for? Asked Hizayu. I want to take the examination for the Inner Academy's Pill Institute. If it's possible, I also want to become an instructor here. I do dual pill and martial cultivation, as well as dual god and immortal cultivation. With all those paths, I am lacking money. Being an instructor would be very beneficial to me and save me money, said Long Chen. You wish to take the exam to be an instructor of the Pill Institute. He I was startled, as he had never seen Long Chen refine pills. He had never heard of him refining pills in the Pill Institute either. Ever since Long Chen had come to the Pill Institute and beaten up that instructor, he had never attended classes there. But today, he wanted to become an instructor himself? 
He Ziyu didn't know if Long Chen was joking or not. I've gone to the medicinal fields, and through very normal means, bought quite a few medicinal ingredients. After that, I'm always refining at home when I have time. I feel like I've gotten skilled in various techniques, so I want to be an instructor. Can you open a back door for me? I'm hoping to finish it quickly. Long Chen rubbed his hands, a bit embarrassed. This examination normally occurred only once a month, but he didn't want to wait that long. You refine pills when you have time? That sounds quite arrogant. He Ziyu didn't know whether to laugh or cry. If it was another disciple saying this, he'd have long since cursed them. Did Long Chen consider alchemy to be as easy as eating? He would occasionally eat a bit when he had time, and thus mastered the skill? I don't know how to explain it. How about I just do this? Long Chen extended a hand, and five flame seeds danced on his fingers. They were like lively monkeys, going faster and faster. This was a foundational technique of an alchemist. Only those familiar with the transformations of the flame could control the flame easily and naturally when refining pills. Two flame changes marked the introductory level. Three marked that someone could formally start refining pills. Four was someone who was quite skilled. Someone capable of taking the mortal rank instructor examination. Five flame changes? It indicated that one was capable of taking the human rank instructor examination. Hence. Hezeiya was shocked to see it, but the real shock came afterward. The five flame seeds got faster and faster until they started to grow chaotic. And yet, no matter how they moved, it still seemed smooth. Dozens of flame changes occurred in an instant, dazzling the eyes. This flame control is something even some earth rank instructors lack. Who did you learn from? Asked Hezeiya in shock. I'm simply exceptionally talented, a self-made genius said Long Chen humbly putting away the flames. He Ziyu was speechless. He definitely didn't believe Long Chen, but everyone had their own secrets. It wasn't his place to question this. Let's go. I'll hold the examination for you. He Ziyu directly brought Long Chen to an examination hall. There were hundreds of tables here, and this was where the examination was normally held. However, this time, Long Chen was the only one taking the exam and Hezeiya was the only one overseeing it. After that, Hezeiya activated a photographic jade and several formations to prevent cheating. Everything was held according to the normal rules of the examination. Let's start the examination. You have three sets of ingredients. Refine a high-grade muscle bone strengthening pill within six hours and you will pass. The time starts now. Hezeiya turned an hourglass with golden sand upside down and the sand slowly started flowing down. Chapter 2942 Earth Master Status Plate Six hours later, Long Chen left with a new status plate. He Ziyu stared at a starry medicinal pill in his hand with a blank expression. What a monster! An elder appeared beside He Ziyu. Institute Head, why have you come? He Ziyu jumped in shock and hastily greeted him. This elder was the one in charge of the Pill Institute. He then received the medicinal pill in Hezeiyu's hands and stared at it. I was drawn over by the aura of a treasure pill. At such a young age, Long Chen couldn't possibly refine such a pill. I don't understand. Let alone disciples. Even elders that have been cultivating the pill Dao for centuries can't refine a furnace of treasure pills so easily. Hezeiyu shook his head. In the immortal world, other than the standard grades for medicinal pills, there were also three classifications representing three different levels. The five grades were low, middle, high, top, and peerless grade. Outside of these five grades were three additional classifications. Spirit pills, treasure pills, and golden pills. Spirit pills were the most commonly seen. As long as a pill contained enough spiritual chi, it was considered a spirit pill. However, a treasure pill had transcended the limit of a spirit pill. It contained laws in addition to spiritual chi, causing it to undergo a fundamental change. This was no longer a matter of a person's alchemy technique because it also required an extremely deep understanding of the immortal Deo's laws. Alchemists that had bitterly cultivated for hundreds of years might still not be able to reach this level. Even if they could, their chances of refining treasure pills were definitely less than one in a thousand. When he saw Long Chen refine a furnace of treasure pills, Hezeiya was simply too stunned to react. 
This shock could not be described with words. Even as Long Chen left, he simply stood there, dumbfounded. He had no idea how Long Chen had done this. If it was just a matter of technique, that would be one thing. But comprehension of the heavenly deos is another matter. How can Long Chen possess such a profound realm? While refining, he became one with the Tao. Institute head. Can you please tell me the answer? Long Chen. Is he? Asked he Ziyu. No. There was no forceful rebirth. His spiritual fluctuations are still young. And this can easily be sensed. Furthermore. Our academy's formation isn't for nothing. Plenty of old ghosts had snatched the bodies of our disciples and tried to steal the academy's treasures. But weren't they all easily captured? Long Chen is not possessed. But as to how he did it, it's not important. There's no need to investigate this to the end. Just act like you don't know. What level of status plate did you give him for this? Asked the institute head. With his power. He could challenge the heaven rank instructor exam but after the refinement, he said that he was out of spiritual strength and didn't want to continue refining. In truth, he had at least 80% of his spiritual strength left. He just refused to continue. If he had, I feel like he would very likely pass the heaven rank exam but since he didn't, I could only give him an earth master status plate, said Izayu. That little fellow knows how to be cautious. To have power but not be overly arrogant is a good thing. When it comes to Long Chen, help him out as much as possible as long as it doesn't break the academy's rules. Yes, he Ziyu nodded. The institute had looked toward a divine statue in the examination hall. The statue was worn down, but there was a flower in its hand. At this moment, a strange light appeared in the institute head's eyes, and a smile slowly crept over his face. Huo Long, Moon Refiner. How could you two be so exaggerated just now? How did you refine treasure pills? Grumbled Long Chen. Even Long Chen was stunned by the treasure pills he had refined this time. At that time, he had acted like he didn't recognize them as treasure pills. But he knew that this act was meaningless. It couldn't escape his Ziyu's eyes. With his current power, he had refined treasure pills. And at the one star grade at that, if this information spread, it would shake the entire Pill Institute. He didn't want to become a focal point. At that time, who knew how much trouble would come for him? After talking to them, he learned that Huo Long had finished absorbing the energy of the companion ore, and its power had soared. As for the moon and star refining furnace, while it was refining in that room, it had sensed a strange energy entering its body. That energy seemed to come from the statue, resulting in the treasure pills. Long Chen was startled by that. According to what he knew, it was the statue of the founder of the Pill Institute. Long Chen had immediately noticed the jewel blood jade orchid in its hand, but he hadn't had a chance to ask about it. In any case, with his status, he wasn't qualified to ask about some important matters. Also, he hadn't found anything in the Outer Academy's Divine Scripture Pavilion regarding the Pill Institute's founder. Perhaps he might find something in the inner academy. Well, I got the Earth Master status plate. He, there's also a large reward for this. Not bad. Long Chen then went to the inner academy's medicinal fields. After that, he found one of the supervisors and showed him his status plate. He even said some frightening words, saying that information about them selfishly keeping some plants and trading them had already spread. It had to be known that working in the medicinal fields was lucrative not because of the pay, but because of the extra plants that were secretly grown. Unfortunately, the money didn't just enter their own pocket. Seeing an earth master come to find trouble for him, this person was clear that this earth master was asking for money. Everyone knew the unspoken rules of the medicinal fields. The ones down below didn't report it, and the ones high up didn't investigate it. If they did come to investigate, then they were really coming for their share of the profits noveloon.com however, Long Chen directly refused his bribe, causing this person to quiver in fear. He didn't want money? Then did he want his life? Long Chen directly said that he came because he wanted them to hold themselves back a bit. They couldn't keep going over the top because the higher-ups had caught wind of this. If they didn't start holding back more, they would be truly caught and punished. When Long Chen actually warned him so nicely, he instantly realized that Long Chen was on their side. Otherwise, 
he wouldn't be acting like this. After a round of scolding, Long Chen asked for what he came for. Very quickly, three of every plant within the medicinal fields landed in Long Chen's primal chaos space. There were tens of thousands of different plants, and he gained them just like that. Feeling satisfied, Long Chen left leaving a group of supervisors that were filled with gratitude toward him. As an Earth rank instructor, Long Chen was entitled to a high-level immortal cave in the Pill Institute. It was a hundred times better than his current immortal cave. However, he couldn't live there because the Pill Institute was independent. If he was there, then if Mu King Ian and the others wanted to find him, they would have to go through a long process instead of directly going to him. If there was something urgent, it would be troublesome. Ultimately, Long Chen returned to his immortal cave in the God Institute. He began planting the new medicinal ingredients he had gained, organizing them in a way that it would be easy to find them afterward. In the Outer Academy, he had only come into contact with first-tier medicinal ingredients. Hence, the pills that could be refined from them were also only first-tier, usable by mortal transcendence disciples. In the Inner Academy, he had obtained second and third tier ingredients, allowing him to refine pills for the Divine Flame Realm and the Four Peak Realm. He essentially no longer needed to worry about medicinal ingredients for these realms. After Long Chen finished planting everything, the tablet on his waist suddenly began to flash. Damn, I'm fifth in line now. Long Chen was startled and hastily ran off. So much time had passed without him realizing it. If he missed it, he would have to queue again. Long Chen then rushed out of his immortal cave. Just a moment afterward, a different figure vanished from the shadow of a tree. Chapter 2943 Brazen Plot Good. I made it on time. Long Chen managed to arrive at the entrance to the Divine Flame Spirit Pool just as it was his turn. He then sighed with relief. After he handed over his tablet, a passage appeared before him. As soon as he stepped in, a wave of fiery heat washed over him making him feel like he was immersed in lava. This fiery heat contained the pure source energy of the world. As soon as it touched him, his blood began to flow faster within him, and it activated his nerves. It was as if every drop of blood within him was jumping, as if every pore on his body was open, greedily absorbing the energy here. It truly is a precious land. No wonder so many people work so hard just to come here. Long Chen could feel the energy here pouring into him. It was as if just breathing in this air was making him stronger. After entering the passageway, he saw countless formations around him. He then seemed to see many pools with immortal chi gushing within them, but he wasn't able to see them clearly before they vanished from his vision. Someone led the way for him. After a long path, they arrived at the end of the passageway. There was a door here. This is the Divine Flame Spirit Pool. Remember. Every individual has a limit to how much of the spirit pool's essence they can absorb. If you absorb too much, you might lose your life, warned the person leading him. Many disciples wanted to activate more of their potential, and so they absorbed more and more of the spirit pool's essence. However, by doing so, they surpassed the limits of their bodies and lost their lives, usually by body explosion. Such a thing was not all that rare. Hearing this piece of information, Long Chen nodded and thanked that person. Once Long Chen entered, that person took out a formation disc and pressed on it. A sluice gate then slammed down, blocking more water from flowing into the pool. Just as that person finished this and was about to leave, he sensed something strange behind him. As he turned back, something struck the back of his neck, and he fell unconscious. The one who had struck him was a figure cloaked in mist. It was as if this person lacked a solid body. This figure then reached out and grabbed the formation disc looking at it. That figure showed a faint smile. When Long Chen entered, the door closed behind him. There was a pool of water within this 30-meter room, and mist began to rise out of it as the energy of heaven and earth gushed in. Long Chen found that this room was a sealed place. With the door closed, he didn't need to worry about others peeping on him. Hence, he directly took off his clothes and jumped into the water. Long Chen let out a startled cry when he entered the water. He felt all his pores fully open and crazily absorb the energy inside the pool. His body was like parched land absorbing all the rainwater it could. At this moment, he felt incomparably relaxed, as if he was floating in the clouds. As his body slowly changed, 
his 108,000 stars slowly activated. Long Chen could vaguely feel his stars also absorbing this energy as his body absorbed it. However, his body seemed to have priority. His 108,000 stars were only absorbing a very small portion. It seemed that the body would become full before it was the star's turn. The source energy of heaven and earth. It couldn't be. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. His 108,000 stars had been condensed in the mortal world. Now that they were in the immortal world, they also needed to go through mortal transcendence. As his body underwent mortal transcendence, did his 108,000 stars also have to undergo mortal transcendence? If that was the case, just how much energy would it require? Would it break the upper limit of the divine pool? If his 108,000 stars failed to absorb enough energy for mortal transcendence and he directly leaked to the divine flame realm, would they never be able to go through their mortal transcendence? Upon thinking of that, Long Chen's expression changed. He had forgotten about his 108,000 stars and been in too much of a rush. He had to first think of a way to change his 108,000 stars before condensing his divine flame. Senior brother, my body suddenly feels off. Let me out. I give up on this tempering. Long Chen suddenly jumped out and pounded on the door. This was no joke. His 108,000 stars were the foundation of his power. If a problem occurred, it would gravely impact his future potential. However, he was shocked to find that even as the door rumbled, there was no reaction from outside. Hey, is anyone there? Let me out. I'm going to die, shouted Long Chen. At this time, he didn't care about face. Little brat, you're quite vigilant. You actually know that you're going to die. A sly voice suddenly rang out from outside the door. When Long Chen heard this voice, he was enraged. Old dog, it's you. This voice belonged to one of the former three heads of the Discipline Institute. It was the other magistrate besides Chu Hu and Iron, and Long Chen actually still didn't know his name. Brat, even if you break your throat shouting, it's useless. This place has a formation around it. I can see you, but you can't see me. Your voice can also only be heard by me. No matter how you shout and beg to be saved, no one will come, said the elder. Old dog, you dare to harm me here. Are you not afraid of the academy investigating and executing you afterward? Raged Long Chen. As he shouted, he examined his surroundings, hoping to find somewhere he could break out of. Don't waste your effort. This is a sealed place. The bottom of the divine pool is an earthen vein that leads to the source of the world. There is a sluice gate that you cannot pass through. Even if you did, the energy at the source of the world would kill even someone like me, let alone you. Brat, I'm honored to be able to hold your execution and watch as you die in despair. As for the investigation of the academy, don't worry, I'll shift all the blame to that unlucky fellow. I'll transplant some of the memories of killing you into his soul. When the academy does a soul sark, the truth will come out, laughed the elder. Just at this moment, Long Chen felt a wild surge of energy gushing out from the bottom of the divine pool. The source energy of the world had increased several times. At this moment, Long Chen instantly thought of a possibility and was overjoyed. But he acted terrified. Old ghost, what are you doing? He, I'm strengthening the flow of source energy so you blow up. What? Are you afraid? laughed the elder. Long Chen had been curious about how he had been schemed against without sensing anything. Now it seemed that this scheme posed no danger to him, which was why he hadn't sensed it. Old ghost, I won't let you do as you please. Long Chen roared and sat outside the lake, seemingly ready to fight back. Idiot, do you think that you can endure it? The elder sneered and patted the formation disc after that. The water rapidly rose until it filled this entire space. Chapter 2944 Sending Charcoal and Snow Good Child You really are great. Long Chen was delighted. He had been worried about not having enough world source energy here. But this old fellow had actually come just for him. Long Chen was admiring that sweeping elder more and more. Just as he said, bad things might be good things tomorrow. If the academy hadn't let off these two old ghosts. How could they have schemed against him here so delightfully? Long Chen's skin turned red as endless world source energy poured into him. This was the most primal energy of the world. Long Chen had once encountered it in the martial heaven continent. 
the martial heaven continent had passed all of its energy to him so that he could protect all the lives that were born from it. Although the immortal world source energy was different from the martial heaven continent source energy, he still remembered this aura. Furthermore, for some reason, he felt an indescribable familiarity with this world source energy, although it was torrential and practically trying to rip him apart. When it actually entered his body, it became gentle and warm. It constantly strengthened every inch of his body. The world source energy could stimulate the latent talent within a person's body. It was truly the most primal energy and critically important to a cultivator. As this energy poured into his body, he sensed his essence blood being purified and his physical body rapidly growing stronger. Two dragons then appeared on his arms. Even Huo Long and Lai Long came out to absorb this energy. This energy was the source of all things. The flame and lightning energies were only a portion of it, but this energy was immensely beneficial to Lai Long and Huo Long. The elder saw everything that was happening to Long Chen, and he was shocked. He had already opened seven sluice gates. For ordinary experts, only one gate was opened, and three gates would instantly kill them. However, Long Chen was still enduring with seven gates open. Now, when the elder saw the two dragon marks light up on Long Chen's arms, he snorted and activated the formation disc, opening another ten sluice gates. As a result, the space Long Chen was in rumbled, and water poured in crazily. It felt like knives were tearing apart his body. Anyone else would have long since died. However, while Long Chen was clenching his teeth as if he was bitterly enduring, he was laughing inside. He felt more and more world source energy pouring into his 108,000 stars. As he anticipated, his 108,000 stars began to transform, and a rune lit up on one of those stars, blazing with divine light. It branded itself at the core of the star. After that rune was branded on his star, he could clearly sense that star had gained a trace of immortal spiritual aura. Furthermore, he sensed another kind of energy in his body. This star had finished mortal transcendence. In other words, it was a star of the immortal Tao. It would continue to generate more and more of this energy for him. The second, third, fourth, and fifth stars began to transform one after another. Watching them transform, Long Chen almost cried out in excitement. However, his excitement then faded. At this rate, even three whole days wouldn't be enough to transform all his stars. He was already aware that a person could only spend six hours here. After six hours, the pool would close down, but there wasn't enough energy yet. Old ghost, you won't be able to kill me. I refuse to believe that there's no one outside. As long as I can last a bit longer, someone will notice, and you'll be doomed, shouted Long Chen. Even as he shouted, Long Chen acted like he was reaching his limit. These acting skills could definitely be called another kind of power. It really looked as if he was about to die. Idiot. I've already arranged things. No one will notice me here. So just wait for death. Are you afraid you're not dying fast enough? Then let me help you out. The elder sneered and opened another ten gates. Boom. This space rumbled intensely. But Long Chen was so happy he almost kissed that old ghost. More and more of his stars were transforming. This feeling of fortune couldn't be described. For his enemy to help him out so much, he would never be able to forget this feeling. After an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen actually spat out a mouthful of blood and roared. Old ghost, your daddy here is tougher than you. You can't kill me. As long as I endure six hours, you're definitely dead. A person could only stay here for six hours. Once the time was up, they would be automatically transported out. At this moment, the first two hours were almost past, so there were four more left. In truth, Long Chen was even more panicked than the elder. At this point, he had only transformed over 3,000 stars. It was still too slow. There wouldn't be enough time at this rate. He had to further antagonize this elder. As a result, the elder snorted and activated the formation disc once more. However, he was shocked. Just how strong was Long Chen's physical body? He still hadn't exploded? He began opening gates one by one because he had activated too many. The current of the divine flame spirit pool might change and be sensed if he went too fast. He quickly opened up 50 sluice gates. But Long Chen was still alive. When he reached a hundred, 
Long Chen fainted several times but then revived himself after just a moment. Seeing this, the elder was so furious that he wanted to smash the formation disc apart. Long Chen's adaptability was extremely high. He got used to the new force every time. The elder began to sweat. He had never seen such a monster before. Long Chen practically had an undying body, and even he was getting afraid. Time passed bit by bit. The elder had opened 150 sluice gates, but Long Chen continued to appear on the verge of death without actually dying. The elder finally realized that something was wrong. Long Chen had remained in this state for too long, so he was starting to grow suspicious. He suspected that there was something special on Long Chen capable of allowing him to slowly adjust to the power of the Divine Flame Spirit Pool. The time was going to be up soon, but Long Chen had yet to die. Fuck just die. The elder suddenly roared furiously. The runes on the formation disc all activated, and he vanished. Boom. Long Chen felt like the spirit pool was exploding as endless world source energy poured toward him. It was like a volcano eruption. Chapter 2945 Terrifying Archer Long Chen was startled. He hadn't expected this old ghost to be so vicious. The latter had actually unleashed such terrifying power. In his fury, the elder had opened over 700 sluice gates, that essentially stopped all the other divine flame spirit pools, concentrating all their energy here. Long Chen felt the sensation of death. Before he could even react, his star diagram appeared behind him, absorbing all this energy. He had transformed over 20,000 of his stars, but now the rate of transformation suddenly soared. 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. This world source energy was something that no one could endure. However, Long Chen's astral energy could be considered to be from the same source. It then crazily consumed this energy, wrapping around Long Chen. This vast energy rapidly transformed his stars. But at this moment, an ear-piercing alarm rang out. Clearly, that elder also knew that such a thing would occur and had hastily fled. Boom. At this moment, the entire room shuddered and the world source energy began to fade. The gushing water also slowly stopped. They finally come. He, but it's fine. I'm done. Long Chen then quickly put away his star diagram and looked inside of his dantian. All his stars had transformed. Long Chen truly didn't have a way to properly express his gratitude toward that elder. It had to be known that this energy was exceedingly precious. Just by himself, he had used up who knew how much. If it weren't for that elder trying to harm him, there would have been no way for him to obtain so much energy. Even if he became a heaven master, the academy wouldn't spend so much on him. Hence, Long Chen had truly profited. The door blew open. Several elders charged in, only to see Long Chen putting on his clothes. You, you, you're still alive, I suppose. If I'm dead, then that would mean that you're also dead. If you feel that you're alive, then I should also be alive, said Long Chen, smiling at these elders in a good mood. These elders oversaw this place. When the alarm rang out, they found that all the sluice gates had been opened and were charging into one pool. Hence, they had immediately run over. They had originally thought that whoever was inside would have long since lost their life, so they didn't expect to see someone who was still alive and well. They were dumbfounded. After a long pause, one of them finally asked, what happened here? You're asking me? Shouldn't I be asking you? Why did the water suddenly gush toward me? I almost drowned. Fortunately, I'm a good swimmer. Well, I'm done. So you can do your investigation. Maybe there's a problem with the formation Long Chen walked out just like that. As he left, he saw many people standing within the passageway. Those men and women were all confused. They had been in the process of their own tempering when the water suddenly vanished. When Long Chen left, he didn't see the person who had brought him in. That elder had probably dragged him away. That elder was very crafty. By bringing that person away, he had covered himself with a protective talisman. Long Chen's guess was that that person was probably already dead Novaloon.com under the excuse of committing a grave crime and killing himself in shame. They would have the perfect cover-up. A dead person couldn't testify. Since the elder had dared to personally move against him, he had to be confident that he could wipe away all the evidence. If Long Chen said something, it would be meaningless. 
He hadn't been able to see outside, and just the voice alone was not enough to punish the elder. Hence, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to waste any further thought on it. However, this attempt at his life did raise some alarm bells in his mind. He definitely couldn't take these fellows lightly. They were capable of coming out of any hole at any moment. Long Chen took a transportation formation back to his immortal cave. He was midway down the mountain when he suddenly sensed something and dodged to the right. An arrow flew right by his ribs. The air around it spun, and it pierced into a boulder. Silent arrows Long Chen was shocked. Guo Ran had used such arrows before, and they had killed many experts. Guo Ran had even used them to kill experts that were stronger than himself. After avoiding the first arrow, one after another shot out silently. Hence, Long Chen dodged left and right, and the arrows pierced into the mountain with large explosions. How fast! Long Chen relied entirely on his sense of danger to dodge these silent arrows and only narrowly managed to avoid them all. He didn't even have a chance to find where the attacker was. Long Chen could only repeatedly dodge as there was nowhere for him to hide. His assailant had clearly chosen this place to attack him. His nine-star hegemon body art was extremely sensitive to any danger, including sudden sneak attacks. But it wasn't a sure thing. Some experts had specialized assassination methods that concealed themselves from all senses. Some people would even use a self-hypnotizing skill to make themselves forget that they were about to assassinate their target. Only when their target set foot in their trap would that hypnotism fade. There were other similar methods to avoid being sensed. The opponent was a terrifying archer whose attacks couldn't be sensed. Furthermore, these arrows curved toward their target. This kind of arrow was the most frightening as it often tricked a person's instincts, making them think that they had dodged only for the arrow to suddenly curve toward them. Long Chen was infuriated. He was actually treated like a rabbit caught in the open, a live target for his opponent. Furthermore, his attacker was actually extremely far away, and he couldn't reach them. He could only repeatedly dodge. After dodging dozens of arrows, Long Chen finally arrived in front of the entrance to an immortal cave. He then smashed a fist into the door, blasting it open. After that, he charged in, finally escaping. However, when he entered, he saw a man and woman looking at him in horror. Long Chen was also shocked. It seemed that he had interrupted something romantic. The woman cried out, grabbed her clothes, and ran deeper inside. As for the man, he was about to angrily speak when Long Chen kicked him. Another arrow passed right by that man's cheek. If it weren't for Long Chen's kick, his head would have been pierced. He was so frightened that he knelt on the ground, not daring to move. More arrows flew into the room, but they were now just random shots, and Long Chen didn't even need to dodge. Long Chen then spread his spiritual strength outside. As a result, his divine sense only grasped a weak spatial fluctuation before nothing else could be sensed. His opponent had come prepared. Big brother, many thanks. The man stared in shock at Long Chen and thanked him. Brother, sorry for delaying your good thing. I'll make it up to you if I have a chance. Long Chen rushed out. He quickly found a footprint on a mountain peak. This was a very secluded area. Even if you run. So what? Even if you mess up your aura, your spiritual fluctuations won't immediately fade. I've remembered you. Long Chen's expression was dark. This was his first time being used as a living target, and he didn't even manage to find the shadow of his attacker. Flames of fury ignited within his heart. Chapter 2946 Preparing to break through you also failed. Chu Yang looked at the man beside him with astonishment. This man was of average height and average tanned appearance, with the only alarming thing about him being a pair of eagle-like eyes. They appeared shockingly sharp. This person was one of Chu Yang's subordinates and also a terrifying archer. He was a mixed blood descendant of the human race and the heavenly eagle race, so his eyes could see through a person's weak points. He had killed many powerful experts and was one of Chu Yang's most capable generals. Furthermore, he was a secret trump card that Chu Yang didn't easily expose to others. Chu Yang was extremely confident in his killing power. If he caught someone off guard, no one was capable of dodging his assassination. The magistrate elder had immediately alerted Chu Yang about the failure, having him prepare for an assassination. 
the failure this time made him extremely uneasy. Based on Chu Yang's calculations, after narrowly escaping death, Long Chen's mental state had to be worn out. This was the best timing to kill him. Following normal logic, after failing, they would immediately focus on cleaning up the evidence and should be in a state of panic at Long Chen having escaped. Long Chen truly had thought that this was what they would do. Having not expected the Chu family to immediately send an assassin after him, he had been caught off guard. That was why Long Chen was so enraged. The feeling of being schemed against was hard to take. However, Chu Yang hadn't expected this terrifying archer of his to still fail after catching Long Chen off guard. He almost couldn't believe it. His sense of danger is frighteningly sharp. My arrows that are specialized at bewildering other people's senses were useless against him, said the eagle-eyed man. He was a terrifying expert that had killed many people who were actually stronger than him. Hence, he was extremely proud of his achievements. But today, that confidence received a blow. It was his first failure. This Long Chen will sooner or later become a tumor to our Chu family. Since we missed this opportunity, killing him in the future will grow more and more difficult. Other than the eagle-eyed man and Chu Yang, Chu Huiyiren and the other elder were also present. The elder's expression was gloomy. Even now, he didn't understand how Long Chen hadn't died. Chu Huiyiren also didn't believe it. He was extremely clear on just how terrifying the energy was when hundreds of sluice gates were opened at once. Even Chu Huiyiren would instantly die without a trace. But Long Chen was still alive. Even Chu Yang's number one archer hadn't managed to succeed after catching him off guard. He hadn't even touched Long Chen's clothes. They were growing more and more shocked. If Long Chen had some special treasure protecting him in the Divine Flame Spirit Pool, then that was somewhat understandable. But for him to even dodge the eagle-eyed archer's assassination attempt, that meant he relied on actual power. We were clean with both our attempts. Even if Long Chen knows it was done by us, he has no proof and can't touch us. At least having a decent opponent will make life more interesting. The stronger the target, the more satisfying killing them will be, said Chu Yang with a grim smile. Yang Er, don't get careless. Long Chen is extremely dangerous. Don't let him ruin everything, warned Chu Huiyiren. I have never underestimated any opponent. Don't worry, whether it is in terms of power or strategy. Other than those two, I'm not afraid of anyone in the inner academy. The Chu family's prestige was damaged by Chu Kuang's death, and now is no longer the time to conceal our power. We must reveal our fangs at the necessary time. Chu Huiyiren pondered this and nodded. You are correct. Some people that we bought have started growing antsy. Those fellows really think that our Chu family is lacking. What a bunch of fools. But fools also have their own value. Let's find a few ways to counterattack. However, after missing this chance to kill Long Chen, we won't have another good one for a while. We'll have to endure. Uncles, make sure not to leave any evidence for others to take advantage of. Although Long Chen doesn't have any proof, one little clue could lead to a mistake, said Chu Yang. Chu Huiyiren nodded. This trait of yours is gratifying. If your little brother had half this steadiness, he wouldn't have ended up like he did. All right, we'll leave for now. After Chu Huiyiren and the elder left, the eagle-eyed man suddenly said, Should we prepare for a sneak attack? With his cooperation, the two of us can definitely eliminate Long Chen. Chu Yang shook his head. It's useless. Long Chen isn't such a fool. It will be difficult for us to catch him off guard again. Even if the two of you attack together, considering that he is now prepared, it will be difficult to succeed. You'll also end up exposing yourselves, and that would be troublesome. Long Chen has the head judge's support, so he is just looking for our Chu family to leave ourselves open. You would be sending him your heads by attacking. Then what can we do? Don't be hasty. An opportunity will definitely come. Long Chen has many weaknesses, while we have plenty of cards to play. Toying with him to death is simply a matter of time. Not killing him this time isn't necessarily a bad thing. Perhaps he can even help us with some matters. Chu Yang smiled. His voice was full of confidence. He lightly rubbed a string of prayer beads around his wrist. There was a figure carved on that prayer bead. If Long Chen was present, he would definitely be astonished. 
That figure carved into the prayer bead was the other god that Pill Valley worshipped, Fallen Day Night. The Divine Flame Spirit Pool was closed for three days to investigate what had happened. The ultimate conclusion was that a problem had occurred with the formation. After it was repaired, disciples resumed entering. When Long Chen received this news, if it was before, he would definitely turn up his nose and scoff. But now, he understood what it meant for a smart person to know how to act foolish. That was its own kind of ability. As for foolish people who acted smart, those were the real idiots. There were truly many people like this. For example, in Long Chen's eyes, the most obvious ones were the two brothers, Chu Yang and Chu Kuang. Long Chen had always felt that he didn't lose out in terms of intelligence to anyone. But after the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, he found that intelligence was truly worth crap. He even felt regret about wasting the effort on little tricks in the past. If that effort was spent on steadily advancing his cultivation, then perhaps that battle wouldn't have ended so miserably. Perhaps he wouldn't have had to just watch as Pu Jinying, the old man, Ling Yunzi, Hu Fang, and the others died one by one. In the immortal world, Long Chen gave up using schemes. He wanted to focus all his time and effort on cultivation. Mu King Gaian and the others had to wait for the Divine Flame Spirit Pool to be repaired. So they went to recruit others. As for Long Chen, after resting a day, he reached his peak condition. He then went to the Pill Institute. The outer region of the Pill Institute was empty. After he found a rather safe place with no one else there, he closed his eyes. When he opened them again, there were flame seeds within them. At this moment, his blood chi ignited, and a giant blaze erupted around him. He finally began to attack the Divine Flame Realm. Chapter 2947 Igniting Stars Entering the Divine Flame Realm began with igniting the Divine Flame Seed. Long Chen had read that this realm involved condensing a flame seed first, and it would decide which direction their growth would proceed in. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, dark, soul, blood, bone, essence, chi. There were all kinds of variants. Upon reaching the peak of mortal transcendence and undergoing the tempering, a person would come to realize what aspect they were strongest in. They would choose that strongest element and condense the flame seed around it. If a person had a powerful wood element lying dormant within them, they would condense a wood element flame seed. And once they entered the divine flame realm, all the other attributes within them would start to deviate toward wood element energy. That would make their power even stronger and purer. A person commonly chose their strongest attribute when condensing their flame seed. For example, Mu King Gaian had her sword Dao and chose to focus her divine flame seed on the mind, the spirit. In the future, it would be easier for her to become one with the sword Dao. As for Luo Bing and Luo Ning, as immortal cultivators, they would normally choose the path of the soul, but due to the Luo family's bloodline inheritance, they would definitely choose to ignite an essence blood flame so that they could cultivate their family's inherited magical arts with half the effort. Condensing a divine flame was something that required consideration from all aspects. Hence, every person chose different paths for different reasons, such as their background, bloodline, inheritances, or simply personal reasons. However, Long Chen cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art. All his growth was concentrated there. He had done some research as to whether or not he should choose the path of a body cultivator. But it wasn't just his physical body that was strong. His physical body was just the holder of his astral power. And his strongest power came from his 108,000 stars. As his astral power was limitless, wielding it required a powerful body. Or the immense power would simply blow him up. However, if he only focused on his body and neglected his 108,000 stars, it would be putting the cart before the horse. It might let him down the wrong path. Right now, Long Chen could only progress cautiously. He didn't know what kind of path lay before him, but time waited for no one. He couldn't spend a few years testing and researching. Furthermore, even after a few years of research, he might not find anything. Thus, Long Chen decided to simply grit his teeth and advance without thinking about it. He would just go with the feeling. With naked arms, Long Chen sat on a boulder. He formed hand seals and his blood chi ignited. After that, 
The space around him twisted and turned. Without him needing to take further action, all the energy within his body ignited, forming a blazing fire around him. As the flame raged, the boulder he was sitting on turned red hot. The surrounding grass was instantly incinerated. The divine flame ignites all the energy within a person's body, drawing it out. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, dark, soul, blood, bone, essence, chi, and countless other kinds of energy manifest themselves. According to the Academy's records, it is extremely easy for a person to sense their strongest aspect at this time. As long as that aspect is ignited, then there are basically no mistakes. Why can't I see anything though? Long Chen saw various runes burning in front of him. Within these flames, there were different runes representing different kinds of energy, and he could sense them clearly. According to the Academy's records, whatever aspect a person was strongest in and had the greatest potential in would be larger and have a deeper color. It should be very easy to distinguish. However, the runes around him were all the same color and size. Even though he felt that the power of his physical body should be the strongest, that rune was no different from the others. Is this to say that my power is evenly distributed? That's impossible. I have no talent in metal, wood, water, and earth. My flame and lightning energy are controlled by Huo Long and Lai Long, so they don't really count here either. Other than that, my strongest aspects are my physical body and my soul. But why don't I see anything different about them here? Long Chen was dumbfounded. Igniting the divine flame was like choosing one of many paths. If the wrong path was chosen, that would lead him to catastrophe. Long Chen helplessly continued to ignite his power. The flames around him grew more intense and the air started to ignite. This flame was the flame of his life. He couldn't unleash it for long before his very life was consumed. However, he had to unleash this flame to its max power in order to uncover his potential. He couldn't hold back at all. As the flames exploded out of Long Chen, a ring of light spread further and further out of him, and a pillar of flame soared into the sky. If others saw it, they would definitely die of fright. Most people summoned flames within a range of 30 meters, and even elite disciples were normally within 300 meters. Lastly, those who had passed 3,000 meters were shocking existences. However, Long Chen's flames had already spread a hundred miles. It was unbelievable. Fuck. How is it still the same? As Long Chen unleashed all his power, the runes truly grew larger and their color intensified. But they all grew together. There was still no strongest aspect to be found. Just as Long Chen's anger flared and he didn't know what to do, the 108,000 stars inside of him quivered. Before he could react, those raging flames were greedily consumed by his stars. After that, his star diagram appeared, and his flames vanished, spreading throughout his 108,000 stars. The flames had been split into 108,000 shares. They were as insignificant as a candle's light falling into a sea when they fell into these stars. So the nine-star hegemon body art's divine flame realm involves igniting the 108,000 stars. Long Chen was delighted. He hadn't expected that he wouldn't have to make a choice. Just unleashing his power was enough. Long Chen could sense that every star was like a starving dragon staring at his flame. On the other hand, his flame was like a single sparrow in the face of thousands of starving dragons. Long Chen then focused on his stars. He could sense that they seemed to be waiting for something, as if they were waiting for more flames to ignite them. However, with so many stars, even if he burned up his entire life energy, he wouldn't possibly be able to ignite them all. What was he to do? Just as he was rapidly thinking, his hair stood on end, and a sensation of death filled his heart. He then pulled his focus from his stars hastily. At this moment, a sharp sword stabbed into Long Chen's body and blood splashed. His body was almost pierced straight through. Chapter 2948 Tribulation in the Immortal World Long Chen was shocked. His first thought was that he had been sneak attacked. However, this was the Pill Institute's territory. Chu Kuang and the others shouldn't be able to enter. A bloody hole was stabbed into his back, and his whole body was numb. Long Chen then looked up and cursed. Aren't the immortal world's heavenly tribulations only supposed to start at the Four Peak Realm? At some point, tribulation clouds had appeared above his head. 
Although they weren't that large, their attack had almost pierced through his body. Just at this moment, another lightning sword fell at Long Chen, and he felt the space around him freeze, leaving him with no way to dodge. Boom. Lightning wrapped around Long Chen's fist as he punched that sword. As a result, his arm was left bloody and mangled. His bones were broken. Lai Long, quickly absorb it, shouted Long Chen. There was no need for him to shout. Lai Long was already absorbing the rampaging lightning coursing through his body as soon as the first lightning sword landed. Otherwise, with his body numb, there would have been no way for him to block the second blow. This was Lai Long's first time absorbing heavenly tribulation lightning in the immortal world. This lightning contained the immortal world's will of destruction, and it was completely different from the mortal world's lightning or the lightning within those wild beasts. If Lai Long hadn't absorbed so much of the world source energy in the divine flame spirit pool, it wouldn't have been able to absorb this immortal lightning. However, even though it was capable of absorbing it, transforming it into its own power took some time. So Long Chen was still at a disadvantage with the second blow. Long Chen was shocked and enraged. It was common knowledge that in the immortal world, the mortal transcendence realm didn't have a heavenly tribulation. Hence, he had thought that he would also become like everyone else in the immortal world and would no longer suffer like this. However, his heavenly tribulations didn't care if he was in the mortal world or the immortal world. They still found him. Furthermore, they were still trying to kill him. At this moment, Long Chen felt minuscule in front of this heavenly tribulation. His terrifyingly powerful physical body was like paper in front of it. The third lightning sword fell. As his right hand had yet to recover, he blocked with his left hand, resulting in that arm also turning bloody and mangled. Long Chen then let out a painful grunt and fell to the ground. Damn it. The immortal world's heavenly tribulation is actually so terrifying. It doesn't want me to live. Long Chen clenched his teeth, his gaze grave. If this continued, he would very likely die in this tribulation. Since Lai Long was unable to devour this immortal lightning fast enough, more and more of it invaded his body. Suddenly, his 108,000 stars shuddered, and the berserk energy coursing through his body vanished, leaving behind only pure thunder force. Seeing this, Lai Long was delighted and crazily devoured this energy. Without that berserk, destructive will, this thunder force was the greatest nourishment for it. Long Chen was startled. He suddenly found that the small flame seeds within his stars had grown immensely. Could it be? Just at this moment, the fourth sword fell. While Long Chen's right arm shuddered, a dragon mark appeared on top of his arm. Boom. Long Chen's body shook, but his arm was not mangled again. It was because Lai Long's power had soared and was now capable of using a bit of the power of immortal lightning, protecting Long Chen. The power of the lightning poured into him once more, and that destructive aspect was absorbed by his 108,000 stars. After that, the flames burning within them instantly grew dozens of times. This lightning was like a wild beast. Lai Long wasn't strong enough, so absorbing it was extremely taxing for it. But when the 108,000 stars absorbed its destructive will, it was like all that remained of the beast was its tender flesh, and Lai Long could absorb it in an instant. The fourth sword was stronger than the previous three lightning swords combined. However, the divine flames in his 108,000 stars instantly grew explosively in the face of the fourth sword, showing Long Chen that if he wanted to fully ignite them, he needed to rely on the power of the tribulation. Hence. Long Chen began to absorb the lightning runes of his own initiative. As he did, the flames in his stars grew bigger and bigger. Another lightning sword fell, several times stronger than the previous one. However, Lai Long was now in control of immortal lightning energy, so the sword shattered on contact with his hand. A huge amount of energy was then absorbed into Long Chen's body. At this moment, the flames within his stars reached a certain limit, and they vanished. Instead, Specks of light appeared within the core of the stars. Boom. Another lightning sword fell, and Long Chen blocked with his fist, only to cough up a mouthful of blood. The power of this lightning sword was over ten times greater than the previous sword. As a result, a sea of thunder force poured into his body. As usual, all of it was absorbed by the 108,000 stars, which began to blaze suddenly. After that, the seventh sword fell and was absorbed again. 
Based on Long Chen's experience, there would be two more attacks coming. As expected, lightning condensed in the sky, and the eighth lightning sword hacked down. Now, a lightning spear appeared in Long Chen's hand, as he no longer dared to receive this attack with his fist. Boom. When the sword fell on Long Chen, his spear exploded along with it. Long Chen was then knocked back and crawled up with dust and dirt covering him. Unexpectedly, at this moment, his Feng Fu star shuddered and ignited. Looking within himself, he saw that his entire star diagram had ignited, and all the flames now gathered on the Feng Fu star. After it was ignited, the flames charged toward the Aleph star, then it was the Life Fate star, the Enlightenment Palace star, the Divine Gate star, and the Nether Gate star. The six stars and the stars in his star diagram had all ignited. Long Chen felt like they were spirit pills about to come out of the furnace, and they were just lacking the final heating. At this moment, rumbling rang out above. The tribulation clouds instantly condensed into one giant sword. You really want my life? Long Chen cursed furiously. This attack contained the power to destroy heaven and earth. Although he was using this tribulation to ignite his stars, this tribulation was clearly trying to kill him. Fuck. Come at me. Long Chen's lightning spear appeared again, and he shouted at that celestial sword of lightning noveloon.com boom. The lightning sword fell. Long Chen was like an ant in front of it. When the sword landed, the mountain that he was on instantly crumbled. Chapter 2949 Advancing to the Divine Flame Realm That lightning sword fell with the will to destroy heaven and earth. As a result, the mountain that Long Chen was on instantly collapsed. Dust and smoke exploded. Within that dust, a 30-meter lightning dragon appeared for but an instant before vanishing. Less than 10 breaths time later, a group of people came rushing over. The disturbance here had drawn them over, but they were just a bit too slow. They only saw the shattered mountain and the remnant destructive aura in the air, but they didn't see anyone. Lai Long then found a secluded cave in a hidden valley. There was a beast inside that it killed. After confirming that it was safe, Lai Long put Long Chen inside the cave. Long Chen's body was badly damaged. That final attack had truly been dangerous. Anyone else would have lost the will to resist in the face of the destructive will of the heavens. A will that made others despair. When facing it, all resistance was futile. And a person could only wait to be killed. Long Chen tried to get up. But his body was severely damaged. Hence, he just lay there. Unable to move. Lai Long stood guard as he rested. One day passed, then two days, three days. On the fourth day, Long Chen finally woke up. However, when he did, he almost couldn't feel his body. Fuck, how vicious. I almost died. In the mortal world, Long Chen had experienced many lightning tribulations and gotten used to it. But here in the immortal world, the heavenly tribulation was actually so vicious. After he woke up, the primal chaos space got to work slowly healing his body, while it did work while he was sleeping, now that he was awake, it was much faster, as he healed, he looked within himself, his 108,000 stars were all blazing, and he sensed immense power within them, with just a thought, their astral power would pour through his body, Long Chen actually felt a sense of fear toward his new stars, they were like 108,000 lakes of energy, in the divine flame spirit pool, they had been tempered by the world source energy. Hence, those lakes had now become giant seas. But it wasn't just a matter of quantity. Their very essence had also changed. Before this, when he used their power, it was as if there was a gate allowing him to control how much of their energy he used. However, it was as if that gate had grown to the size that all of their power could be unleashed in just a few breaths time. The most frightening thing was that the lake water was not water any longer. Instead, it was like roiling lava. Just how could he unleash this terrifying power? This was a power that could destroy the very world. Long Chen was afraid because if this power was unleashed, before the world was destroyed, his own body would break apart first. After going to the Divine Scripture Pavilion so many times and reading countless tomes, he was no longer a novice when it came to the immortal world. He had a certain understanding of the immortal world's techniques. However, he had yet to find a single one as terrifying as the nine-star hegemon body art. This destructive power made him feel fear. He could destroy the world, but it would also destroy himself. 
9 star hegemon body art just what level of cultivation technique are you murmured long chen as he sensed the immense energy within his stars other than his 108000 stars there were also the feng fu alief life fate enlightenment palace divine gate and nether gate stars they had also transformed with the thought he activated his feng fu star just as he was trying to test how the feng fu star had changed as soon as he activated it his 108000 stars also activated terrifying long chen and causing him to instantly stop sweat dripped down his face his body was still gravely damaged if he circulated their power in this state it would be no different from suicide a single thought almost got me killed what the hell is this long chen was speechless the nine star hegemon body art was truly too terrifying with that one test he found that the method to circulate its power had changed he was no longer able to activate just the power of his six stars. The six stars were now tightly bound to the 108,000 stars. If he activated the six stars, the 108,000 stars would also activate. But using his astral power wouldn't activate the six stars. Long Chen had a premonition that having entered the Divine Flame Realm, the next time he used the six star battle armor, its destructive power would surpass his imagination. Other people's divine flames ignited their talent, but Long Chen's divine flame ignited his 108,000 stars and his six stars. Hence, Long Chen didn't know what kind of path he would be walking in the future. However, there was one thing that he could be sure of the nine star hegemon body art did not fall behind any other technique. Thus, it was all on Long Chen to figure out the best way to control and use it. After resting for another day, he gradually started to gain control of his body again. Two days later, he could finally walk, but he was still extremely weak. His injuries this time were very heavy. On the third day, he recovered to 80%, and only then did he leave the cave. After walking out, he clenched his fist. He felt his power and also the energy fluctuations within heaven and earth. Those fluctuations were much clearer to his senses now. That was the specific mark of the Divine Flame Realm. He could sense the energies of the 10,000 Deos of the world, and he could start to control those Deos for himself. The Divine Flame Realm was only the first step of cultivation in the immortal world. At this moment, a speck of lightning appeared on Long Chen's fingertip. A ray of lightning then shot out of his finger, piercing through a 3 meter boulder. The hole was as smooth as glass. Long Chen smiled. The power of heavenly tribulation was truly terrifying. Now that Lai Long had absorbed its power, its killing power had grown explosively. Previously, when he used his lightning arts, there was a large waste due to his lightning passing through the air. But after reaching the divine flame realm, when he activated his lightning, the lightning essence in the air would surge toward him, and his attacks would pass through the air with no loss at all. That meant that it would take less energy to unleash a far stronger attack. Good. My power has risen immensely. I didn't suffer for nothing. Long Chen was satisfied. He finally felt confident in controlling his own fate again in the immortal world. Long Chen then slipped back into the Pill Institute. There was nothing strange going on. So it seemed that the heavenly tribulation didn't cause too much of a disturbance. After that. Long Chen returned to the God Institute and found the Earth Master he had talked to previously. After receiving his human rank instructor status plate, he went to the Divine Scripture Pavilion. Nirvana Scripture. Here I come. Chapter 2950 Spending a fortune Long Chen entered the Divine Scripture Pavilion. As soon as he revealed his new instructor status plate, the disciples guarding the door no longer blocked him. The Inner Academy's Divine Scripture Pavilion was much more important than the one in the Outer Academy, so entering required a more stringent process. Long Chen went through three checks before getting in. The size of it was about the same as in the Outer Academy. However, there were only a tenth of the books. Many of the bookshelves were small, but beside the bookshelves were small rooms that could only fit a single person. Those small rooms had a special spot to put a book in. As long as you put a book there, the formation would activate and help a person quickly memorize its contents. All the books in the Inner Academy's Divine Scripture Pavilion were very important. Some of them contained a huge amount of information that made them difficult to read. 
the disciples would need to pay a hundred thousand immortal crystals for each trip here, but just entering that room cost ten thousand immortal crystals. It could be said that in the inner academy, you would have to burn even more money. Hence, many disciples were prepared to exhaust all of their spiritual strength for a trip to the Divine Scripture Pavilion so that they could learn as much as possible before leaving. There was also no place to recover spiritual strength here. So most people used medicinal pills until their bodies could no longer endure it. It was truly a money-burning process. Since Long Chen was now a human rank instructor, he could enter for free. But reading the book still cost money. The Inner Academy's elite disciples rarely used actual immortal crystals. They used crystal cards. To read a book, they needed to tap their crystal card on it. The money would then be deducted, and the book could be taken off of the shelf. What a con. Long Chen was originally filled with excitement, but now it was like a bucket of cold water had been poured on him. It was like he had been slapped out of his dream by reality. He had thought that just like in the Outer Academy, he could use his abilities to consume all these books. He had wanted to read all of these books, but now he could only sigh. He didn't have enough money. Long Chen walked onward. He found that every book here cost at least 10,000 immortal crystals. It seemed that 10,000 was the cheapest, while some cost as much as 50 to 60,000. Why not just steal from your students? Long Chen cursed. But how could stealing be as fast as this? This was an unending stream of money for the academy. The academy's method of raking in money was truly beyond the norm. However, even though he complained, he still had to learn what he came here for. Even if the cost was extravagant, he still saw many people wandering around. Many of the rooms were even occupied. He also saw quite a few people with pale faces, and they were bitterly enduring. Long Chen nodded. Perhaps the high price for entry and learning was precisely what made people cherish their opportunities. People didn't act like this in the outer academy. Everyone was busy reading or recovering, and no one was looking at others. Seeing this, Long Chen sighed. Experts truly became strong because they worked harder than others. Long Chen reached the fire element area quickly. Other places were filled with people, and the rooms sometimes even had lines. However, there were clearly fewer people in this region. Although it wasn't empty, there were definitely no lines. Fire Cloud Palm, 17,000. Exploding Blaze Fist, 20,000. Violet. Flames Chain the Cosmos, 45,000. Long. Chen was speechless as he looked at these prices. They were too expensive. However, even as he passed by these techniques, he didn't see where the Nirvana scripture was. Hence, his heart started to drop. The further he went, the higher the prices grew. He quickly reached existences costing over a hundred thousand. At the end of the bookshelves, he saw a pillar that looked to be made of immortal gold. Runes were flickering on top of it, emitting terrifying fluctuations. There were four squares embedded into it. Those were books covered in flickering flames as if they were burning. Nirvana scripture. Long Chen was delighted to find it. Looking at the four books, he found that they were the first to fourth volumes of the Nirvana scripture. Through the formation, he could sense the scripture within, and it felt so familiar. It really is the Nirvana scripture. The first three volumes are the same. Long Chen's heart pounded. When he saw the price though, he almost broke into curses. The first volume costs 550,000. The second volume costs a million. The third volume costs 1,500,000. And the fourth volume costs 2 million. Altogether, they cost 5 million immortal crystals. This was an absolute scam. Was the academy so poor that it went crazy? When he read what was carved on the pillar, he almost laughed. It read, The Nirvana scripture is profound and difficult to comprehend. Even those with high comprehension will need to reread it multiple times in order to succeed. Take care. Be cautious. In other words, to learn the Nirvana scripture, it wouldn't be possible to succeed in one go. You would need multiple attempts to fully comprehend it, along with multiple payments. Thus, before learning anything here, you had to be mentally prepared. You might expend a terrifying number of immortal crystals without comprehending it. After failing to comprehend it dozens of times, would you be so angry that you smashed the bookshelf? Perhaps the academy knew that. 
so they made it clear right from the start to avoid the dissatisfaction of the disciples. At this moment, Long Chen continued reading and found a delightful surprise. The second volume contained the first volume's contents. That was because the second volume's scripture had to be paired with the first volume. The fourth volume contained the first three volumes in it. In other words, he could directly buy the fourth volume and check if the first three volumes he had learned were identical to what was here. It would have been too dangerous for him to only buy the fourth volume without checking if the first three were different here. This was no joke, as he could easily lose his life. But now he felt a bit better. Fuck. Did they scheme against me? They saw me make a recent fortune. So they want me to spend it all. Long Chen clenched his teeth and took out a crystal card. This was a crystal card with 2,030,000 immortal crystals. This money was mostly from the Pill Institute. It was the reward for becoming a human rank instructor and then an earth rank instructor, as well as refining a one-star top grade pill and a one-star treasure pill. For 2 million to be taken out at this time made his heart drip blood. But there was no way around it. He had to obtain the Nirvana scripture no matter what Novaloon.com Long Chen tapped his crystal card, leaving it with a balance of merely 30,000 immortal crystals. Then the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture trembled, and a ball of light shot out of it, landing in his hand. After that, the pillar slowly opened, revealing a room specifically prepared for disciples wishing to comprehend the Nirvana scripture, holding the ball of light. Long Chen was about to enter when an icy voice rang out behind him. Hold it. Chapter 2951 Third Rank of the Inner Academy Long Yanzong hearing this, Long Chen turned back and saw a person walking over. His heart then shook. This person was exceedingly tall and muscular. His hair was golden, as were his eyes. Moreover, there were flames dancing within his pupils. He was like a walking volcano, as his body contained endless flame energy. When it erupted, it would shake the heavens. This was Long Chen's first time seeing someone with such pure flame energy in their body. Moreover, such a powerful person had actually called out to stop him. From this person's robes, one could see that he was an inner academy disciple whose cultivation base was in the divine flame realm. However, his aura was even more shocking than Four Peak Expert's aura. Do you need something? asked Long Chen. That person eyed Long Chen. He said, I have an urgent matter to attend to. Leave this place to me. Once I'm done, you can use it. His tone was flat. It wasn't pressing or overbearing. However, it was unquestionable. Sorry, but I also have urgent matters to attend to. Once I'm done, you can use it. Long Chen walked in. What kind of joke was that? He was in more of a rush than anyone. Even if this man had asked nicely, Long Chen would have refused let alone with such a tone. Upon hearing this, that man's expression sank. He barked. Are you a newcomer? Do you not know who I am? I am a newcomer, but I'm not interested in knowing who you are, said Long Chen Novaloon.com brat. I urgently need to cultivate the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture. You had best listen clearly. I'll give you two options. Leave and I'll give you one million immortal crystals when I'm done. Or, I, Long Yanzong head of the Inner Academy's third strongest guild, won't let you live much longer in the Inner Academy this person was the leader of the third strongest guild, he was extremely powerful and had an explosive temper, other than those two monsters, everyone else in the Inner Academy was afraid of him, wherever he went, others would flee, hence, for some rookie who had just entered the divine flame realm to not appreciate his kindness, he was enraged. If this place wasn't the Divine Scripture Pavilion, he'd have long since attacked. Long Chen eyed Long Yanzong and sneered. Boss Long San isn't afraid of anyone's threats. You might not have recognized me before, but let me tell you now that Boss Long San can go wherever he pleases in the Inner Academy. From a young age, I've specialized in curing people with your particular illness. If you're interested, I'll help cure you another day. Long Chen directly walked into the room and closed the door behind him. Courting death, Long Yanzong was enraged. Flame runes appeared on his fist, and he had an urge to smash open that door. He had read the fourth volume of the Nirvana scripture over ten times in the last half year. He had spent almost 30 million immortal crystals on it. Today, a flash of enlightenment had struck him. 
and he felt that he had a high chance of fully comprehending it. Hence, he had rushed over, only to see Long Chen had activated it first. He then thought that Long Chen would let him go first, but Long Chen actually ignored him. With this rage, his good mental state was broken, and any sense of enlightenment was gone. The Nirvana scripture was different from other techniques. Some cultivation techniques could be trained in private rooms or the rooms by the bookshelves. However, the Nirvana scripture had to be comprehended within that specific room because when it was comprehended, flame energy would burst out. A mistake could destroy the pavilion. There was only one room for the Nirvana scripture, and to use it, you had to wait until the person inside was done. Only then could a second person go in. Long Yanzong was so enraged that, let alone comprehending the Nirvana scripture, he couldn't even calm himself down. Even when Long Chen came out, he wouldn't possibly go in because he had no chance of comprehending it in this state. Brat, you really are courting death. Let's just wait until you come out. Long Yanzong gloomily left. The people inside the pavilion that saw him immediately got out of the way, not even daring to look at him. Long Yanzong was famed for being a fearsome existence. Flame cultivators all had explosive tempers. Seeing him leaving so gloomily, they acted like they didn't see anything. Once he arrived at the exit, the disciples at the entrance greeted him respectfully. Who is that black-robed brat? demanded Long Yanzong. He's a newcomer to the inner academy named Long Chen. I heard that he's very powerful. He killed Chu Yang's little brother, Chu Kuang. In the outer academy, he also won the divine competition and entered the inner academy through there, reported a disciple. Long Yanzong sneered. Chu Yang? That scheming little man? HMPH. His little brother definitely isn't much better. What faction is Long Chen from? He has no faction or backer. Right now, he has a status as a human rank instructor of the God Institute, a human rank instructor of the Immortal Institute and a disciple of the Pill Institute. Understood. Foolish brat. Just wait. Long Yanzong snorted and left, leaving behind the quivering disciples. Long Chen didn't bother caring about Long Yanzong. The moment he saw the latter, he already saw through his character. Domineering, selfish, obstinate, and petty. He had seen many people like that. If you conceded one step to them, they would take two steps forward. They didn't know what gratitude or respect was. This Long Yanzong would become his enemy sooner or later. With just a look, Long Chen knew that they were fated to be enemies. He would have to either beat him into submission, or beat him to death. Inside the room, he found that he was in an entirely separate world. It felt like he was within the cosmos. Countless flame runes floated around him like stars. Every rune represented a different kind of flame energy. Hence. It was as if he was immersed in a sea of tens of thousands of flames. He finally no longer felt aggrieved about those immortal crystals. This place was actually a giant flame formation, and comprehending the flame Dao was far easier here. Long Chen didn't care about the comprehension side, but Huo Long directly charged out. As soon as Huo Long appeared, those twinkling flame runes quivered. After that, flame energy poured toward Huo Long. A sphere of light then lit up in Long Chen's hand, and sacred chanting rang out. That voice was so familiar. This was the Nirvana scripture. It started with the first volume all the way to the third volume. When the fourth volume started, those flame runes began to move toward Long Chen. A figure then appeared in Long Chen's mind. At that instant, he was too stunned to move. Chapter 2952 Who is she? This peerlessly beautiful woman was surrounded by divine light. The 10,000 deos were affected by her, as if she controlled them. She was chanting the scripture. She was beautiful and transcendent, an existence that caused Long Chen's heart to ache. At this moment, tears streamed down his face. He had seen this woman several times before, but he never learned who she was. Despite clearly not knowing who she was, deep in his soul, he felt a sense of familiarity and closeness. Moreover, every time he saw her, he felt a nameless sorrow, as if he had missed out on this world's most perfect possibility. She was forming hand seals as she sat in the cosmos, chanting. With every word, the world echoed her, and her voice penetrated deep into his soul. There was no need for Long Chen to remember anything. The scripture was branded into his heart, 
and he would never be able to forget it. As she chanted, the flame runes in this cosmos quivered, and flame energy poured toward Long Chen. Long Chen ignored that flame energy as Huo Long was devouring it. This flame formation had been created from countless flames, and it made sense of the meaning of the scripture, lowering its difficulty. Without this formation manifesting the transformations of tens of thousands of flames, an ordinary flame cultivator could hear this scripture a thousand times without understanding its profundities. This formation was present to increase a person's ability to comprehend the Nirvana scripture, so no one would think of absorbing it. But Huo Long was benefiting now. Its body was originally 30 meters long, and now it was 300 meters long. Multicolored light shone from its entire body. Although its aura hadn't grown so explosively, it had now merged with so many different flames that laid down a solid foundation for its future growth. However, Long Chen wasn't paying attention to any of this. All his attention was focused on that woman. He looked at her flawless face, his mind blank. Suddenly, the chanting ended and her figure vanished, but the scripture continued to resound throughout heaven and earth. When she vanished, a burst of pain overwhelmed him. This was nothing more than a method for transmitting an inheritance. It wasn't actually her. As the runes dimmed, Huo Long roared like a child who had its food taken away. Looking back, Long Chen jumped in shock. Huo Long's body was many hundreds of meters long now. It had become giant after absorbing countless kinds of flame energy. Its aura was becoming unstable. Hence, Long Chen hastily pulled it back. It had absorbed too many flames, causing it to become explosive. That was a sign of bedevilment. Huo Long returned to the primal chaos space to refine all the flame energies that it had absorbed. Just at that moment, the door opened, and Long Chen was sent out back into the Divine Scripture Pavilion. All right, those two million immortal crystals weren't spent for nothing. Long Chen sighed and wiped some tears from the corner of his eyes. What he didn't realize was that he had actually cost the academy quite a bit by absorbing the energy of the formation. That formation was only there for cultivators to achieve enlightenment. Normal people wouldn't even think of touching them. But Huo Long had devoured quite a bit of the formation's energy. Compared to the materials required to replenish the energy of the tens of thousands of flames, the two million immortal crystals were nothing. Long Chen was unaware of this and was still grieving over the two million immortal crystals. After all, he had only become a newly rich person for a moment before all his money was lost. That feeling was truly difficult to bear. His crystal card only had 30,000 immortal crystals left. That wasn't enough to do anything. Long Chen then browsed the flame magical arts for half a day before picking up a technique called Heavenly Flame Prison for 30,000 immortal crystals. He had spent his final bit of money. He didn't even have the money to open a room, so he could only directly read it. A large stream of information entered his mind. If he was in one of the rooms, the formation would show how the technique was used and trained, but with his kind of direct absorption, there wasn't such an amazing effect. Long Chen didn't mind. He took this technique because he had a feeling that it was not inferior to his old raging flame prison, as expected. After reading it, he found that the effect was essentially the same. But here in the immortal world, the heavenly deos were complete. So it required different hand seals to use the immortal world's flame energy. Hand seals were truly a miraculous thing. Through the merger of the body, mouth, and will, it was possible to summon this world's energy. As for hand seals, they were the crocs. Without knowing hand seals, there was no way to control the laws of the world. As for Long Chen's hand seals, they were only effective in the lower plane. In the immortal world, the laws around him didn't care about his hand seals. With his world extermination flame lotus as an exception, that was because it had also gained the recognition of the immortal world. However, the world extermination flame lotus was a difficult trump card to use. He needed more techniques that he had greater control over, as well as ones that were simpler and more practical. For someone else, learning this magical art would likely require several attempts, but Long Chen could instantly grasp a technique at this level, so he saved a great deal of time. As he left the Divine Scripture Pavilion, he noticed quite a few people looking at him. Those gazes were strange. They seemed to be a kind of pity. Long Chen was first confused. 
But then he thought of Long Yanzong. It seemed that the latter truly had quite the reputation. Not just anyone dared to provoke him. Long Chen returned to his residence. He was thinking of asking someone for some help because human rank instructors had specialized immortal caves for them. However, just as he returned, Mu Qingyan and the others arrived. Mu Qingyan was excited. She had also advanced to the Divine Flame Realm. He also saw a new cloud mark on her sleeves and collar. Within the cloud were two small words. Unfettered Alliance. Long Chen smiled. Congratulations Alliance Head King Guyan. I wish the Unfettered Alliance a thousand years of unity and good fortune. Mu King Guyan had finished establishing her guild. The final step had only been for the Alliance Head to be in the Divine Flame Realm at least. Hence, as soon as she advanced, she received her guild status plate. All members of her guild received robes with their specific insignia. Afterward, they immediately ran over here. He, Brother San, the Unfettered Alliance is now done being established. You've also become a human rank instructor. So we came to attend class. We want to book every class you hold. Also, you can help us pick some cultivation techniques and immortal arts. They'll definitely be better than ones that we just randomly pick, said Mu Qingyan. It was only once someone was under the name of a guild that they could book classes with instructors. This was one of the Inner Academy's rules. Hearing that, Long Chen suddenly had a flash of inspiration. This was a path to making money. They could pay for him to learn various techniques. And then he would teach them. That meant he could learn and teach multiple people the same technique without paying multiple times. It was a win-win. Brother San, let's go. Today's the day that Luo Bing and Luo Ning are establishing their Luo Gate. We're going to cheer them on. Mu Qingyan dragged Long Chen away to the Immortal Institute. Chapter 2953 Area Forbidden to Life Just like in the Outer Academy, the Inner Academy's Immortal Institute had more people than the God Institute. But although the Immortal Institute's disciples in this place looked coldly at the God Institute's disciples, they weren't so hostile as in the Outer Academy. Through the transportation formation, when those disciples saw Long Chen and the others in the robes of the God Institute, their disdain was clear. Where did they get this sense of superiority from? Asked Long Chen speechlessly. These people were all looking down on them, as if they were unwilling to look at them directly. There's no way around it. The Inner Academy's Rank 1 and Rank 2 on the Earth rankings are immortal cultivators. Only third place belongs to our God Institute. Adding on that the Immortal Institute looks down on us who rely on outer power to cultivate. Such a thing is very common. Explained Mu Qingyan. God cultivators relied on divine inheritances. Either they had experts worshipping them, or they worshipped some other gods. Faith energy was the tie binding the sides together, and it could aid them immensely. In the eyes of immortal cultivators, this was like having an expert pulling you and weaklings pushing you forward. Such a cultivation method was looked down upon by immortal cultivators. Immortal cultivators had to rely on themselves. So they naturally felt disdainful toward God cultivators. But in the same vein, God cultivators also looked down on immortal cultivators. According to God cultivators, what was wrong with faith? Many God cultivators had their faiths in their family's ancestors and such. Without those ancestors, where would they have come as their descendants? Did immortal cultivators not have ancestors? Faith was a kind of inheritance. So what was wrong with it? Some god cultivators also worshipped some extremely powerful existence of history, and they had gratitude toward their ancestors. Without those powerful existences, they wouldn't have received their inheritance. For them, faith was a kind of reverence and gratitude. Thus, with both sides having their own reasons for their own cultivation and for looking down on the other side, the disagreement between immortal cultivators and god cultivators had continued for countless years. As for Long Chen, he didn't technically count as a god cultivator because he had no faith inheritance or anyone he worshipped. However, he was an instructor of the God Institute, and his fighting style was focused on the power of his body, which was a common mark of a god cultivator Novaloon.com Long Chen didn't particularly care if he was a god cultivator or an immortal cultivator. After all, he was also an instructor of the Immortal Institute. He was also skilled in using magical arts.
Who are the first and second rank? Have you heard of them? Asked Long Chen as they walked. Seeing Mu Qingyan, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei, and the others staring at him oddly, he asked, What is it? My boss San has been in the inner academy for so many days but has yet to learn who rank 1 and rank 2 are. Li Kei was speechless. On the very first day, he had memorized the first hundred people of the earth rankings, afraid of running into them. Long Chen still didn't know who rank 1 and 2 were? Just how confident was he? Perhaps only an expert like Long Chen wouldn't care about such things. Mu Qingyan answered. First and second rank are also called the Academy's number one most beautiful woman and number one most handsome man. Rank one is Bei Shishi. According to big sister Luo Bing, her beauty is truly the embodiment of making even the moon hide itself in shame, making flowers close in embarrassment. Every woman feels inferior in front of her. She is not only unrivaled within the same realm, but even when fighting across realms, she has never faced a loss. In fact, no one has ever been able to endure more than five exchanges against her. Not only is her beauty transcendent and her combat power overflowing, but she has an incomparable status as well. She is the granddaughter of the current dean. What? It really is a case of being beautiful, talented, and having status. Long Chen was startled. Now, even he felt some curiosity toward this woman. Brother San, maybe you should work hard on pursuing that Beishishi. Then you'd be able to run rampant throughout the academy. He, chortled Zhang Ling. Long Chen shook his head and righteously said, This woman has been blessed by the heavens and is essentially perfect. But the heavens have given her all their blessings. So they have no more to give. Thus, if she wants to obtain a perfect man like me, it would be as difficult as ascending the heavens. That serious appearance of his made Mu King Gaian laugh. She continued. Beishishi established the Heaven Female Alliance. It only accepts women, and only those with immense talent and beauty at that. Heaven Female Alliance? What a familiar name. Long Chen was startled. He felt like he had heard this name before. Zhang Ling laughed. Senior sister King Gaian received an invitation from them. Even their vice leader personally came, but she still declined it. Moreover, she even rejected the Sword Institute's invitation. Senior sister King Gaian did this for us, so we have to work hard to get the unfettered alliance to the top hundred. Long Chen looked at Mu King Gaian and sighed. She was just like him when it came to her sense of responsibility. If she were to let a group of people, then she would take responsibility for them. She definitely wouldn't just leave them like this. No matter how great the enticement, it wouldn't draw her away. Senior sister Luo Bing was also invited and she also declined the Heaven Female Alliance. It might actually draw some of their ire. They're the number one guild in the Inner Academy. So many people want to join, but they actually rejected them, said Zhang Ling worriedly. They would get angry, asked Long Chen. Brother San, Bei Shishi is extremely proud. She has never acknowledged any man. The women of her guild are also very arrogant, and some petty women wouldn't mind making things hard on us, said Zhang Ling. Mu Qingyan said, you're worrying for nothing. People on our level don't enter their eyes. Then what about rank 2? Asked Long Chen. His name is Xu Changchuan. He is called Young Master Changchuan and is very handsome. Just like Bei Shishi, he has looks, talent, and a powerful background that doesn't lose out to her. It is said that he came from a mysterious land, an area forbidden to life. As for the details, no one knows. Those forbidden areas aren't places that people like us can come into contact with. Anyway, he has always pursued Beishishi. Some people say that it is only because of this that he is willing to be ranked too, and that in terms of combat power, he is actually above Beishishi. However, that's just a rumor. Beishishi has always ignored him. Both of them are existences that rarely reveal themselves in the inner academy, said Mu Qingyan. An area forbidden to life? What kind of place is that? Wondered Long Chen. This was his first time hearing such a thing. If life was forbidden, who lived there? As they were talking, they quickly spotted a large mountain, and it had an immortal cave in it. According to the Academy's rules, every guild would receive an immortal cave for the guild to organize in. There were over a thousand people here celebrating today. Luo Bing immediately greeted Long Chen and the others. However, 
Just as Long Chen was smiling and about to say some words of congratulations, another group of people suddenly arrived, causing Luo Bing's expression to turn cold. Chapter 2954 Asking for Humiliation Luo King Yang had come with some disciples of the Luo Alliance, and his expression was extremely dark. He had tried to advise Luo Bing against establishing her guild many times, but she still went through with it, infuriating him. He then tried to come to an agreement with her, but she refused to give him any chance. Binger, stop it. If our Luo alliance splits up of its own accord, it will only give Chu Yang an opening. For an outsider, you are throwing our disciples' lives in danger. Can you please grow up a bit? Asked Luo King Yang. When he spotted Long Chen present, despite knowing that Long Chen would be here, he was still enraged. He intentionally acted like he didn't see Long Chen. Luo Bing had anticipated that Luo King Guiyang would come and wouldn't be celebrating, but she hadn't expected him to immediately start off lashing out. Haha, <laughs> so you actually know about the family's safety? A petty little person like you? Do you not know what you did? Now you want to talk about maturity with me? Alliance head Luo, today is a day for celebrating the establishment of the Luo Gate. I don't want to fight with you here. If you came to offer a gift, I'm endlessly grateful. If you came to argue, then sorry, I'd like to ask you to leave, said Luo Bing coldly. You, Luo King Guiyang's expression was extremely ugly. Actually, on his way here, he had decided to talk to Luo Bing calmly and measuredly. However, as soon as he saw Long Chen, he couldn't suppress his anger. One of the men beside Luo King Guiyang suddenly said, Junior Apprentice Sister Bing Er, I know your character. I believe that you are aware of senior apprentice brother King Guiyang's feelings toward you, but now is not the time to discuss romantic feelings. You can't let such a thing throw the family's disciples in danger. That would be too childish. This disciple was also one of the Luo family's disciples, and he was older than Luo Bing. He had witnessed Luo Bing and Luo King Guiyang's falling out, so he and the other disciples of the Luo alliance felt helpless. Senior Apprentice Brother Kifeng, you've known me for many years. When have you seen me be willful? The reason I established the Luo Gate is entirely for the Luo family. If you understand, then you understand. If you don't understand, I won't bother explaining, said Luo Bing. That Senior Apprentice Brother Kifeng nodded. I believe you. You've always done things steadily. Even the elders in the family praise you for your leadership capabilities. I don't doubt your motives. It's just that if this continues, the Luo family's power will be split in two. Won't that just cause pain to our family? I have no other choice. There is no resolving some matters, said Luo Bing. Just because of him? Is this pretty little boy worth betraying the Luo family? Raged Luo King Guiyang. This one shout drew countless gazes. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others' expressions grew exceedingly ugly. Luo King Guiyang was an idiot. Senior apprentice brother King Guiyang, even Luo Kifeng couldn't endure it as these words went too far. This was only making the situation worse. Luo Bing would only look down on him more. Originally, he had discussed this with Luo King Guiyang and agreed that if Luo Bing was set on establishing the Luo Gate, then they should settle for the next best thing. They would be allies, with the Luo Gate being one of the Luo Alliance's subordinates. Considering that the Luo Gate was newly founded, it had no foundation, so it was in urgent need of many resources. As one of the top 10 guilds, the Luo Alliance could provide these resources and allow Luo Bing to grow. Even though they were two different guilds, they would still be one family, so it wasn't such a problem. However, Luo King Guiyang couldn't contain his rage and actually said such classless words, vexing Luo Kifeng. Even Long Chen frowned. This fellow, did he have crap for brains? He actually said such foolish words. Long Chen had an urge to slap him to death. Bing Er, senior apprentice brother King Guiyang is rambling. Let me apologize. Luo Kifeng cupped his fists to Luo Bing and Long Chen. We didn't come to ruin things. We just want. No need to say anything. Using the elder's badge, I order you and everyone in the Luo gate to return to the Luo alliance. Luo King Guiyang suddenly took out a violet badge. There were many lines covering it, and bloodline fluctuations were even coming from it. It was clearly no ordinary object. 
Senior Apprentice Brother King Guyang, what are you doing? Luo Kifeng was finally enraged. Luo King Guyang was actually using the family's elder's badge to directly suppress Luo Bing, forcing her to submit. At this moment, this situation had truly reached a breaking point. There was no recovering after this. Luo King Guyang had gone crazy. However, Luo Bing suddenly sneered and extended her own hand, revealing another badge. When Luo King Guyang saw that badge, his expression completely changed. The Luo family's disciples then cried out in shock. The family head's badge. This was the highest level badge of the Luo family. They couldn't believe that she had it. Impossible. Raged Luo King Guyang. The Luo family's badges all have bloodline auras to differentiate them. There's no faking it. Are you doubting the family head? Mocked Luo Ning. Before this, she had not disliked the senior apprentice brother Luo King Guyang. But for him to act so crazily because of her big sister, she now detested him. The Luo family's important disciples all had their own badges, but those badges were pure white. Mostly, they were only used for transmitting important news. The Luo family had special means to communicate with their bloodline. Even from millions of miles away, these badges were like beacons. As long as they were within the range of the Luo family's bloodline altars, Information could be passed from an enormous distance in just a few hours. After Long Chen had helped her awaken her bloodline power back then, she immediately sent words to the family. The very next day, her badge was bestowed with the family head's bloodline brilliance, so it could be seen just how important the family had viewed this matter. At that time, she had yet to join the inner academy and wasn't aware that Luo King Guyang would be like this. The information on the badge was simple. The family would quickly send someone over. As for the bloodline aura of the badge, it had yet to fade after all this time. That signified that the family was allowing her to use all the family's resources if it could increase her chance of obtaining more opportunities to awaken their disciples' bloodlines. Most likely, they were afraid of Long Chen dying and missing out on this chance. This was a matter that could decide the Luo family's rise or fall, so they didn't dare to be careless. With the family head support, Luo Bing naturally wasn't afraid of Luo King Guyang. However, she hadn't wanted to use it on Luo King Guyang, as that would open hostilities between them. There was no need for fellow members of the Luo family to go so far against each other. However, she was disappointed. She hadn't expected Luo King Guyang to ignore her wishes to such an extent. He had forced her to take it out. Luo King Guyang was instantly dumbfounded. His head was blank as he looked at the family head's badge. Just at this moment, clapping sounds rang out. Chu Yang was walking over with a group of people. Dogs biting dogs. The Luo family's fighting really is marvelous. Even the family head's badge was taken out. As an old friend of the Luo family, my Chu alliance can't come empty-handed on such an auspicious day. I hope you won't mind this little gift. After that, Someone behind Chu Yang tossed out a certain object. Even Long Chen clenched his fists when he saw it. It was a coffin. Chapter 2955 Boss Long San returns a gift Although Luo Bing had guessed that the Chu family's people would come to disturb their celebration, she hadn't expected them to go so far. Hence, she quivered with rage. Long Chen was also surprised. The Chu family's people really were the epitome of using any means necessary. Even such a despicable trick, their shamelessness had reached a rather frightening level. So Long Chen silently raised his level of guard. It seemed that he had underestimated Chu Yang. Everyone from the Luo family was enraged by Chu Yang's arrival. He was intentionally insulting them. Long Chen then stepped forward to face Chu Yang and smiled, replying to his words. Oh, the great head of the Chu alliance is so courteous. Have you dug out your ancestor for us? That truly is a big gift. Chu Yang's satisfied smile stiffened. What are you standing around for? Hurry up and open it. Please, bring out your father and mother. If they stay stuffed in there for too long, that would be bad. If they end up suffocating, then this happy day would end up on a bad note. Your Chu family wouldn't do such an insulting thing to your ancestors, right? If that was the case. Quite a few people would probably go to your Chu family to send gifts as well. Long Chen pointed at the coffin solemnly. 
Luo Bing and Luo Ning's quivering rage was precisely what Chu Yang wanted. But Long Chen had turned things around. Chu Yang had brought people with crap in their hands to disgust others. But before they managed to throw it onto others, they ended up smearing it all over themselves. Seeing his unsightly expression, it seemed that he wanted to strike back but wasn't able to think of any suitable words. Luo Bing and the others were delighted by this. The power of Long Chen's tongue was not inferior to his fists. After a moment, Chu Yang suddenly smiled. I think that you've misunderstood. This coffin is just a gift with no other intentions. It's a wish of good wealth and promotion just at that moment. Long Chen slapped him. Seeing this, Chu Yang instinctively stepped back but still didn't manage to avoid being struck in the face. He was then sent flying, tumbling several times before landing. Once he was lying on the ground, everyone clearly saw a large handprint on his face, and that handprint was black as ink. It was as if his face had been burned. Long Chen was startled inside. Chu Yang was truly powerful. He had instantly sensed when Long Chen was slapping. Since coming to the immortal world, Chu Yang was the first person capable of even thinking of dodging when Long Chen tried to slap them. This person's sense of danger was alarming. Lai Long was still in slumber after absorbing the heavenly tribulation lightning of the immortal world. However, due to how often they had cooperated, Thunder Force had automatically appeared on his palm. Originally, he had thought that this slap would be able to injure Chu Yang, but all he managed to do was leave a handprint. Chu Yang wasn't injured at all. The instant Long Chen's palm contacted his face, Long Chen sensed a strange divine energy fluctuation within Chu Yang's body that protected him. Most of his attack's power was blocked by this mysterious energy. All the experts present were shocked. How could a fight break out here? It was far too sudden. As for the experts of the Luo family, they stared at Long Chen in shock. He was truly domineering. His face didn't even twitch after slapping Chu Yang. Long Chen politely cupped his fists and smiled. A face slap is a gift with no other intentions. It's a wish of good wealth and promotion. Brother Chu, I've taken your coffin. This little return gift of mine isn't much, but please accept it. Only then did the Chu family's disciples react. They all took out their weapons, raging with killing intent. As long as Chu Yang gave the order, they would instantly hack Long Chen to death. Mu Qingyan and the others also took out their weapons, and the auras of the unfettered alliance and Luo Gate's disciples erupted. Even Luo Kifeng and the others gasped their weapons, ready for battle. They surrounded the Chu family's forces. The unfettered alliance and Luo Gate had over 800 disciples together. They had an absolute number advantage over the small group of just over 10 people that Chu Yang had brought. Hey, what are you doing? Put away your weapons. Is this how you treat guests? You don't have any manners. Scolded Long Chen. Long Chen completely ignored the other experts that Chu Yang had brought. Acting as if they didn't even exist. He walked past them to Chu Yang. Chu Yang's expression was dark. Icy killing intent flickered in his eyes. But he seemed to be restraining himself. When Long Chen walked right up to him. He involuntarily retreated. He had been careless this time. Anything within 10 steps of Long Chen was his face slapping range. Within that range, no one was incapable of dodging his ghostly divine face slapping art. The reason for that was because of his temporary advantage. Seeing Luo Bing and the others quivering in rage had lowered his guard toward Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. Don't look so scared. For you to come bearing gifts for us means that you're our guest. You gave us such a fine coffin as a gift. I've returned a face slap as your gift. Aren't we even? Chu Yang's killing intent intensified, and runes began to appear on his face. The handprint on his face quickly faded. Once it was gone, Chu Yang suddenly laughed. That's right. We've given our gifts. We should be more friendly in the future. Chu Yang patted Long Chen on the shoulder. As for Long Chen, he also patted Chu Yang's shoulder. Everyone watching was dumbfounded, almost unable to believe their eyes. If they didn't see how Long Chen had slapped Chu Yang, they would actually think that they were good brothers. For a moment, everyone just looked at each other blankly, in a quiet voice that only the two of them could hear. Chu Yang's voice hissed out. Brat, this is the first time that I've been so humiliated by someone. Are you prepared to feel my wrath? Brat, 
I don't know how many people I've slapped in this life. There's no need to mind. It might be a bit uncomfortable the first time, but you'll slowly get used to it. Youngster, go slowly. Don't rush. Consoled Long Chen. Do you believe me when I say that at this distance? Your life is in my hands? As long as I will it, you will die. No one in this world can save you, said Chu Yang, his gaze growing frighteningly sharp. Chapter 2956 Alliance Head admits defeat facing Chu Yang's eyes that were full of killing intent. Long Chen smiled and shook his head. I really don't believe you. First, there are so many people here. All of your people will be instantly wiped out, as you didn't bring your true experts this time. Actually, as long as I can stall you for a single breath's time, your head will be cut off by Mu Qingyan. I have absolute confidence in her abilities. She is not inferior to any one of the experts here. Second, you also don't dare to kill me, because the head judge will make sure that you are executed as well. After all your efforts, you won't kill me just to destroy the foundation that your Chu family has built up in the academy over so many years. You're a smart person, and you won't do this. Third, since I dared to get this close to you, it means that I'm not afraid of you. Of course, you can treat that as me bragging. If you don't believe it, you can always try. I didn't expect that your scheming would be so deep. Chu Yang's gaze was icy. He stared at Long Chen's eyes as if he wanted to pierce through him and see all his secrets. Scheming? No. Scheming is for children. I've long since stopped playing with such senseless things. Your so-called scheming is nothing more than a play thought up by a butt instead of a brain. I have some experience in this regard, but I no longer bother with it. I'd advise you to scram now. You won't gain anything with me here. If I get the urge again, I might slap you a few more times and then you won't be able to endure any longer. But you also don't dare to kill me. Won't you suffer like that? Asked Long Chen. Isn't that just what you want? Sneered Chu Yang. No, I'm giving you this advice because I'm not interested. To tell you the truth, I'm very afraid of you. You're just like a turd. If I step on you, it'll just disgust me. So hurry up and scram, or I'll have to step on you. I'm disgusted just thinking about it. Sighed Long Chen. You. Chu Yang's expression sank. Long Chen was absolutely hateful. Chu Yang had never suffered such humiliation before. However, just as Long Chen said, he didn't dare to kill him. If he did, the head judge would definitely drag him down with Long Chen. If it was someone else, then perhaps he wouldn't be afraid of them. But the head judge was someone from the Battle God Palace. That exceedingly terrifying force behind him wasn't something that the Chu family could provoke. However, Chu Yang managed to smile. Brother Long, I'll definitely repay you for this warm treatment in the future. I'm sure we'll have many chances to get closer. Long Chen cupped his fists. Of course, of course. To not reciprocate would be rude. Perhaps when my mood is good, or when my mood is bad, I'll go take a stroll around your home as well. That's right. You can take back your gift. After all, the gift that I gave you isn't physical. It was nothing more than the raising of a hand. If you left such a generous gift behind, I really wouldn't be able to set my heart at ease. But if you don't want to take it with you, I can give you some more small gifts. Then we can be truly even. Long Chen's meaning was clear. If they didn't take back their coffin, he would slap him again. In any case, Chu Yang didn't dare to kill him. Fine. Fine, we were in a hurry this time and didn't come prepared. Next time, we'll have a much bigger gift for you. I trust that it won't disappoint you. Chu Yang waved his hand, leaving with his people. Of course, they also dragged away that coffin with them. Chu Yang had come so aggressively but left so dejectedly. It was like he had come here just to be slapped in the face. Everyone actually thought that Chu Yang would explode after being humiliated but he actually endured it. If they didn't personally witness it, they wouldn't believe it. Chu Yang was the head of the seventh strongest guild in the Inner Academy. He was also a mortal enemy of the Luo family. After being slapped in the face, he just left like that? That wasn't good for the Chu family's morale and would result in gossip. Others didn't know what Chu Yang and Long Chen had said to each other while patting each other's shoulders, but seeing him leave like this, there must be something behind the scene. Brother San, you're amazing. 
How did you do this? Zhang Ling ran over, staring at Long Chen worshipfully. The others also looked at him reverently. They had never seen such a domineering existence. He actually managed to hit Chu Yang without the latter daring to counterattack. Just how many people were capable of such a thing in the academy? They wouldn't forget the scene of how Chu Yang had come to humiliate them, only to be humiliated and leave. It was nothing. We just had a discussion. Long Chen shrugged. What did you discuss? Asked Zhang Ling. I told him that I slapped the left side of his face, causing his bones to deform slightly. Since the two sides were no longer even, I felt bad for him, so I offered to hit his right side as well to fix it, but that idiot refused no matter what, spitting on my good intentions. TCH, I've never seen such a foolish person, said Long Chen, although they knew he was spouting nonsense. Mu Qingyan and the others still laughed. Long Chen's innocent expression truly looked sincere. With death at hand, you can still laugh. Just at this moment, another group of people came. However, this group numbered over a hundred people, and they all had terrifying auras. Before they even arrived, a roiling heat washed over Long Chen and the others. It was a suffocating heat. It's people from the third-ranked heaven melting valley. Why would they come here? They don't seem friendly. When Mu Qingyan and the others saw the flame mark on their chests, they instantly recognized their status. Long Chen thought of Long Yanzong and frowned. These fellows really did have to avenge every little slight. Who cared so much about it? Luo Bing was about to speak when Long Chen raised his hand. Luo Bing then nodded, standing behind Long Chen with Mu Qingyan and the others. Seeing her follow his orders, Luo Qingyang was infuriated. He clenched his fists. Standing beside him, Luo Kifeng and the other disciples of the Luo family side inside. They saw Luo Qingyang's expression, but there was nothing they could do. Jealousy had caused this genius of the Luo family to lose all his normal rationale. This group of people was led by someone who had an astonishing flame aura. It was almost like he was made of flames. At this moment, he icily looked over everyone, clasped his hands behind him, and announced. The Alliance head has declared that your alliance must disband within three days. Otherwise, you will become our Heaven Melting Valley's number one target. As soon as he was done speaking, he was slapped in the face. With an explosive sound, half his face broke and blood flew through the air. Without even getting to make a pain snort, he tumbled down the mountain. Chapter 2957 Scram Clearly, not everyone had Chu Yang's amazing defensive powers. This one slap heavily injured him. In fact, it was unknown if he was dead or alive as he lay at the bottom of the mountain. You declare? Does Long Yanzong think he is an emperor? Who does he think he is? If he has the ability to come fight Boss Long San, go tell him that a person shouldn't be so arrogant, or I'll show him what true arrogance is, barked Long Chen. It seemed that he had severely overestimated Long Yanzong as a person. Who would have thought that because of Long Chen? He would actually cast his anger on Luo Bing. He was shameless. If he had the ability, why didn't he come here? Long Chen hated such people. They were trash. After Long Chen slapped that person flying, the rest of the experts of the Heaven Melting Valley were enraged. He was their vice leader. Other than the rank 1 and rank 2 guilds, no one in the inner academy dared to provoke this vice leader. Hence, he had never dreamed that someone would dare to strike him. As they were climbing up the mountain, they just so happened to see Chu Yang. Seeing a satisfied smile on his face, they thought that he had just finished humiliating everyone. In their mind, if the seventh rank guild could be so arrogant, then even less had to be said about their third rank guild. Thus, the vice leader had thought that he was untouchable, all without realizing that Chu Yang had simply shown him that smile on purpose. Unfortunately, that confidence caused him to be caught completely off guard. Courting death, some of them rushed down the mountain to see how he was, while the others furiously charged at Long Chen. As a result, as soon as they moved, a sword appeared in Long Chen's hand. With a flash, it pierced the chest of the person at the front. It was so fast that people only saw a blur before that person's life was in Long Chen's hands. Those experts stiffened, staring in horror. That person was the number three expert of the Heaven Melting Valley. His power was only slightly lower than their vice leader. At this moment, 
Terrifying energy fluctuations flowed along Long Chen's sword. With just a thought, this person would be left without a corpse. Who gave you the courage to get into a close-range combat with others as a flame cultivator? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. These disciples of the Heaven Melting Valley all had flame energy, but flame cultivators didn't specialize in physical battle. So why did this group of people dare to fight Long Chen in close range? They must not know how the word death was spelled. You, you won't dare to kill me, shouted that person. There is nothing that Boss Long San doesn't dare to do. However, I do disdain killing an ant like you. Go back and tell Long Yan Zong that if he's a man who pisses standing, he should come at me directly. If he wants to play such games with me, then don't blame me when he is crushed to death by the ancestor of such games. Long Chen snorted and pulled his sword out of this person's body. His fresh blood still stained the sword. Long Chen didn't kill him, because in the inner academy, armed fighting was not allowed. Since the enemy had struck first, it wouldn't be a problem if Long Chen only half killed him, but if he really killed the latter, it would be troublesome. To waste so much precious time just to kill someone like him was completely not worth it. Killing intent instantly exploded out of the heaven melting valley's experts. Now that he didn't have a hostage, they prepared to attack once more. If you dare to take a step forward, I swear on this sword that none of you will see tomorrow's sun. If you don't believe me, just try it. Long Chen's expression immediately darkened. His killing intent erupted. After sparing them, they actually thought to continue pressing him. In that instant, he made his determination that if they dared to move, then he wouldn't give a damn about the rules. The person he had stabbed began to quiver, fear welling up inside of him. Perhaps because he had been stabbed by Long Chen, he could sense his anger far more clearly, as well as the determination in his voice. How brazen! The disciples of the Heaven Melting Valley shouted furiously, never having seen someone so arrogant. We're leaving. The person Long Chen had stabbed suddenly waved his hand. Senior apprentice brother Zhang the others were shocked. Unable to believe it. I said that we're leaving. Are you deaf? Senior apprentice brother Zhang roared, causing those disciples to shut their mouths. After that, they left. Brother San, are you all right? Long Chen had scared off Chu Yang with a slap and forced back the third rank heaven melting valley with a single attack of his sword. His name was guaranteed to resound within the inner academy. He should be happy, but they saw that his expression was frighteningly dark. These idiots really piss me off. In my world, they could count themselves tough if I didn't beat the crap out of them, said Long Chen hatefully. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and the others turned red. He actually used such coarse words in the company of women. Long Chen hastily apologized. Sorry, these idiots just really piss me off. It's fine. If you want to rise in the inner academy, you must fight. Since I dared to establish the Luo Gate here, I am prepared to fight. Dignity and resources are gained through fighting with your lives and your blood. Cowering in fear and begging for pity will only cause others to mock and bully you, said Luo Bing. Although Luo Bing looked scholarly and cultured, as a person, she truly possessed the mannerism of a leader, a general. She said this so that Long Chen wouldn't be shamed over the third rank alliance coming after her Luo Gate. If the Luo Gate wished to stand tall in the inner academy, they had to show their own fangs. Otherwise, anyone would trample over them, and they would quickly be disbanded. She said this also for the rest of the disciples of her Luo Gate to hear, so that they would be mentally prepared. Establishing a new guild was not so easy. Binger, your Luo Gate was just formed. But because of a certain person, you've offended the third strongest guild. Think well on how your conduct implicates the disciples of the Luo family, said Luo Qingyang. With that, Luo Bing could tolerate no more. Luo Qingyang, get the hell out of here and never come back to our Luo gate. Chapter 2958 Money Making Method Luo Qingyang had actually caused Luo Bing to explode in fury. As a result, Luo Kifeng and the others were extremely embarrassed and could only leave with him. Mu Qingyan sighed and said, Now I understand why you had to set up your own Luo gate. That person's intelligence is severely lacking. Even at such a time, Luo Qingyan could say such a thing. He really was brainless. Chu Yang had brought a coffin to humiliate the Luo family. And for Luo Bing, 
Long Chen had even slapped Chu Yang in the face, causing him to flee in disgrace. He had won this battle for them. However, Luo King Yang showed no sign of gratitude. After the third strongest guild came to find trouble for them, he actually said some heartless words, saying that Luo Bing had been implicated by Long Chen. Wasn't the reason Long Chen had formed an undying enmity with the Chu family mostly because of the Luo family? That was why Luo King Yang's words completely infuriated Luo Bing and Luo Ning, as well as Luo Kifeng and the other experts of the Luo family. I will not leave the disciples of the Luo family to the mercy of this person's leadership. Three days from now, we are going to fight for rankings. At the very least, we need to get in the top hundred, declared Luo Bing frostily. Ignore him for now. It's not worth being vexed for him. Today is a day of celebration and we've already prepared the food and wine. Let's celebrate. Thank you everyone for coming. In the end, it was Luo Ning who managed to settle things and invite everyone in. It went without saying that as the headquarters of the Luo Gate, this immortal cave was very large. They weren't packed at all. There was even a dueling ring, classrooms, private rooms, and training rooms. This was the heart of a guild. Normally, disciples that were part of the guild would be active here as this was the most convenient place for them to be. However, this place was not cheap. It cost 1 million immortal crystals every month to maintain. Furthermore, such a mountain and immortal cave was only offered to guilds. An individual couldn't apply for one. Only if a guild managed to enter the top 200 guilds would this rent cost be removed Novaloon.com Moreover, upon entering the top 100, there was even a large reward every month. The higher your ranking, the greater the reward. The Luo Alliance was ranked 10th, and their monthly reward was over 3 million immortal crystals. That was an eye-watering reward. Most guilds were only built to fight for those rewards. The Academy favored such actions. This would unify disciples and make them strive to advance. Furthermore, when the disciples competed, it wouldn't just allow them to see which disciples were talented in terms of cultivation but it would also allow them to see who possessed the ability to unify and lead these disciples. Great leaders could be found through such a system. They moved on to a banquet. Long Chen, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, Li Kei, and the others were sitting at a table. Luo Bing then asked Long Chen just how he had managed to form an enmity with the third rank guild. Long Chen's explanation made Li Kei sigh. The inner academy is full of monsters. They're so domineering and vile. Li Kei had seen quite a few cases of the strong bullying the weak in the inner academy. Those were powerful existences that others had no choice but to submit to. Vile? Aren't they only acting like that for the weak to get into the habit of submitting? In the inner academy, if you want to stand tall, you must be ruthless. You need to be ruthless to others and ruthless to yourself. If someone bullies you, fight with your life on the line. Worst case. You bring them down with you. The soft are afraid of the tough. And the tough are afraid of the strong. And the strong are afraid of those who are willing to risk it all. Just bring out the zeal you had when I trained you. And I guarantee while you might suffer at the start. You will find very quickly that no one will dare to provoke you any further. If you show weaknesses. Then you will have created a barrier to your future advancement. If you consider that those bullies are destroying your future prospects. Do you have any reason not to go all out? Said Long Chen lightly. That's right. They are leaving a shadow in our hearts to set us back. This grave danger cannot be tolerated. Next time, I'll directly go all out against them. Declared Li Kei. Just being cursed and kicked a few times didn't actually pose any danger to one's life. Most people would endure it. But now they realized that those people were unforgivable. They were shaking their foundations destroying their futures. No wonder Brother San won't give a single inch, said Zhang Ling. What are you talking about? Under normal circumstances, I'm very amiable. Losing a little bit isn't something to quibble about. However, if it impacts my cultivation, then I will view whoever caused it as my enemy. To kill my enemies is very normal. I've already failed once, and I won't fail a second time. Those who block my way are not just trying to kill me but they are trying to kill the people around me as well. I won't pay the price for other people's foolishness. I don't want to join you because I don't want to put you in danger as well. 
said Long Chen. Brother San, join us. We're not afraid of Chu Yang or Long Yan Zong, said Zhang Ling, clenching her little fist. Them. Long Chen smiled and shook his head. They're nothing more than minor characters. Even the Chu family behind Chu Yang is nothing to me. My enemies are countless times stronger than the Chu family, and the Chu family is like an ant in comparison. Actually, there is no comparison. Compared to Lord Brahma, the Chu family wasn't worth diddly squat. Lord Brahma was an unimaginably terrifying existence. Long Chen maintained a distance from Mu King Gyan and the others to protect them. When he was exposed, he didn't want to implicate them. Even more terrifying than the Chu family this time, even Luo Bing was shocked. Was Long Chen really an ascender from the lower world? How could he have such terrifying enemies? Long Chen, what are you planning to do in the short term? Probed Luo Bing. I'm going to think of a way to make money. Let me tell you, a person must read more books. But reading books in the academy is incredibly expensive. Sighed Long Chen. If you want to make money, I have a good way. Do you wish to work together? Luo Bing's eyes brightened. Chapter 2959 Devil Battlefield O. Oh. Long Chen's eyes also brightened. He was lacking in money right now. He had many books he wanted to read in the Divine Scripture Pavilion, especially the history section. He wanted to find more about Lord Brahma. King Gyan, you didn't tell Long Chen about the Guild Advancement Rules, asked Luo Bing. Mu King Gyan shook her head. Brother San has been busy all these days. I wanted to find him but he was gone. And then today, we just directly came here before I had a chance to mention it. Luo Bing smiled. Ah, I see. Then let me explain it. The Inner Academy's guild rankings aren't based on the same thing as the Earth rankings. It's based on points gained on the battlefield. Every month, the number of points a guild accumulates on the battlefield will determine their ranking and then it gets reset to zero at the start of the month. Other than the top 10, the other ranks of the Inner Academy's guilds are in constant flux. Outside of the top 100, the rankings change every day. Take a look. Luo Bing took out a jade plate. Its light reflected on the wall. Long Chen saw a ranking list of the guilds. Every guild had some rainbow specks of light moving behind them. Some guilds had over a thousand of those lights, making people dizzy. The names at the bottom of the rankings were jumping up and down like fleas. Just staring at it could give a person a headache. What is this? Asked Long Chen. Have you noticed that while the Inner Academy has millions of disciples, you don't see that many people around? Asked Luo Bing. Long Chen nodded. You mean that they're all on the battlefield? Yes. The Inner Academy's disciples can't laze around like in the Outer Academy. The stronger they are, the more work they need to put in. 99% of the Inner Academy's disciples are on the battlefield doing their best to accumulate points. Not only do they get kill credit for themselves, which can be exchanged for immortal crystals, there are also many treasures in the Academy that can only be traded for with kill credit. Long Chen came to an understanding. No wonder that Divine Lightning Elder had been covered in blood. It seemed that all the experts of the Battle God Palace were either fighting on the battlefield or healing in preparation of returning. In the end, the experts raised by the High Firmament Academy were all sent to the battlefield. But just who was the enemy of the High Firmament Academy? Long Chen, with your power, it's very simple for you to make money. Just go to the battlefield and slay some of the devil creatures. Once you enter the battlefield, as long as you carry the status plate of the Luo Gate or the Unfettered Alliance, our guilds can trade kill credit or immortal crystals with you. You'll have kill credit. We'll have guild points. It's mutually beneficial, said Luo Bing. It just so happened that Luo Bing and Mu King Gyan were lacking points, and Long Chen was lacking money. They could both work together for what they needed. That's a good idea. But I wonder if the Chu family's hands will stretch to the battlefield. If they scheme against us there, we might suffer immensely, said Long Chen. He was worried about getting stabbed in the back on the battlefield. Impossible. The Devil Battlefield is overseen by the Battle God Palace. That's an independent force that even the Dean doesn't have authority in. The Chu family is only able to make some small moves in the Inner Academy. They don't dare to provoke the Battle God Palace, said Luo Bing. This was something that she was very confident about. 
As long as those old ghosts of the Chu family can't interfere there, there's nothing to worry about. I'm not afraid of anyone in the same realm, said Long Chen with a smile. Most importantly, the Luo Gate and Unfettered Alliance are newly formed, and as newcomers, we get a special handicap. Within the first month, all the points we gain are doubled. However, there's also only half a month's time until the end of the month. Although I did say that we wanted to get into the top hundred, to tell the truth, that's very difficult. However, if you join, both of our guilds can get in the top hundred. Our names will soar, and we'll be able to recruit more people. Rather than being looked down upon, others will have to ask just to join our guilds, said Luo Bing. Long Chen's agreement delighted her. Even her previous vexation due to Luo King Gaiyang was forgotten. Actually, King Gaiyang doesn't need me to worry about anything. I already taught them what I know. I have absolute confidence that even without me, they can get into the top hundred. But your side will need more training, because they view themselves as cultivators, and not warriors, said Long Sen. Luo Bing nodded. I understand. During the divine competition, they had all seen the unfettered alliance's bravery and toughness. Even when Mu King Gaiyan was ready to give up to protect their lives, these disciples would rather die on the battlefield than admit defeat. That was a shocking perseverance and willpower. Just how was it that Long Chen had managed to make a group of people become so fearless of death within such a short time? Not one of the 500 disciples had admitted defeat in that battle. They had rather died in battle than retreat. There were even disciples who only had half a body left who still managed to drag one or two more of their enemies with them. That was a terrifying determination on the verge of craziness. Before Long Chen had arrived, Luo Bing's people were actually somewhat superior to the Unfettered Alliance. But after his arrival, the Unfettered Alliance was transformed. Despite both of them having awakened their bloodline power, Luo Ning and Luo Bing both knew there was a large gap between the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance. It's fine. Our guilds are allied. Our Luo Gate will definitely learn from the Unfettered Alliance. Plus, don't we have you too? Don't forget, you're an instructor of the Immortal Institute as well. You have a duty to teach the Immortal Institute's disciples. We've already booked up the next three months of classes you have in the Immortal Institute, said Luo Bing. Her smile was particularly bright. Long Chen was surprised. He looked to Mu King Gaiyan to see her giggle. I booked the God Institute's ones in advance. Big sister Luo Bing learned from me. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Did you already have this planned? When I get famous, those people who want classes with me will have to join your guilds to get lessons. Am I right? Mu King Gaiyan and Long Chen both laughed delightedly, like two beautiful sly foxes. Long Chen's fame would definitely grow more and more within the Inner Academy. Who knew how many people would want to attend classes with him? But with all those classes booked, they would have no choice but to join their guilds to attend those classes. Alright, then let's do this properly. Tell everyone in your guilds that's starting now. Stop buying pills from the Pill Institute. Whatever pill you want, come to me. I'll sell it to you at 80% of the Pill Institute's price. As many as you want said Long Chen. Really Mu King Gaiyan and Luo Bing were both shocked. They stared at him with some disbelief. Medicinal pills were the number one requirement for a cultivator. It could be said that over half a person's cultivation resources were medicinal pills. If Long Chen's words were true, they could save a huge sum. Of course it's true. Whatever pill you want, just give me a list and I'll give you the pills, said Long Chen. He stood. All right. Let's rest early today. Tomorrow, we move out to make money. Long Chen returned to his residence. He had a beautiful night's sleep. And then the next morning, he gathered with everyone and stepped foot into a transportation formation. They went through seven transportations before they arrived in a dark, gloomy world. Warriors of the Academy, welcome to the Devil Battlefield before they even had a chance to appraise this new world. A middle-aged man in front of the transportation formation courteously greeted them. Chapter 2960 Battle Strategy What shocked Long Chen was that this person's aura was similar to the head judge, Chu Huiyiren, and the others, but his blood chi was already withered. Despite looking to be in his 30s, he gave people the feeling of an old man on the verge of death. Senior's words are heavy, 
We are nothing more than a group of novices. We cannot accept such a greeting from you, said Long Chen. His vision was sharp. Although this person looked like a gust of wind would blow him down, there was a look in his eyes. He had definitely once been a powerful expert. Long Chen could sense his powerful will, but he had been turned into this state. The elder looked at Long Chen curiously and then laughed. I didn't expect a true warrior to appear amongst this generation of new disciples. It truly is a blessing to the Academy Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and the others stared in confusion. They were completely unable to see through this person's cultivation base. Seeing Long Chen be so incredibly courteous to him was surprising. That person continued, You must not know about me, but I trust you know the head judge of your discipline institute, Wang Chong. We entered the academy to cultivate the same year. We also joined the Battle God Palace in the same year. We also left the Battle God Palace in almost the same year. In that year, I lost my cultivation base, and he lost his arm. With no other choice, we could only leave our sacred palace. He became the head judge of the Discipline Institute. While I stayed here, taking responsibility over receiving the future warriors who come here full of hope and confidence. Seeing you, I feel like I'm seeing my old self. It truly makes one sigh. Mu Qingyan and Luo Bing were shocked. They hadn't expected this unremarkable man in front of them to be of the same seniority as their head judge. They were also shocked by Long Chen's vision. They hadn't seen anything, but he had instantly seen through this man's realm. Senior, are you using your own bitter experience to tell us how frightening the devil battlefield is? Asked Long Chen. That person smiled. Yes, every year, many disciples die on the devil battlefield. The majority of those are young and full of confidence in themselves. They lose their lives for nothing. I am here to give new disciples a lesson before entering the battlefield so that they know just how terrifying this battlefield is. However, seeing you leading this group, it seems that there's no need for me to waste the time. He took out a tablet and handed it to Long Chen. This is the map of the devil battlefield. Every terrain, the difficulty level, the kinds of devil creatures that appear there, their attributes, divine abilities, and other possible dangers are all written on there. This plate can also be used as a life-saving treasure. When you encounter danger, if you crush it, experts will come to save you. However, crushing it will reset your kill credit. So I suggest that you start off with the safest entrance to the battlefield many thanks. Senior Long Chen received the tablet and walked deeper into this dark world. Through a dark and dismal passageway, he saw countless war chariots, divine crossbows, as well as powerful flying beasts resting. The auras of these beasts were extremely powerful. They seemed to have reached the fourth rank, existences that were above the four peak realm. However, those powerful beasts were nothing more than mounts. They were very obedient. Just passing through this region gave Li Ke and the others chills. The aura of these beasts was truly terrifying. They could kill them with a single breath. Most terrifying of all, they were staring at them, unblinkingly, making them nervous. Is this to give us experience? asked Li Ke with a trembling voice. They were passing through a path between rows of these large, powerful beasts. To say that they weren't afraid would be a lie. It is on purpose to scare us, making us guard against pride and impatience. They don't want us to lose our lives here, said Mu Qingyan, also a bit nervous. Although these beasts could easily kill them with just a move, they were tame. But the feeling of having their lives under the control of others was particularly nerve-wracking. As for Long Chen, standing at the very front, he didn't even look at those beasts. That gave them greater confidence. Boom. Suddenly, the earth trembled. One of the giant beasts moved, blocking their path and causing them to scream. Red armored earth dragon. Luo Bing was shocked and hastily stopped. She didn't even dare to move. This was a terrifying fourth rank devil beast. A devil beast was different. They possessed greater intelligence on average, and were not so easy to control. Even though they might seem to be under control. They might devour their master at any moment. Seeing it block their way, Luo Bing and the others didn't even dare to move. But Long Chen walked right over to it. Brother San, cried out Mu Qingyan. However, the giant earth dragon suddenly knelt down and prostrated itself towards Long Chen. What Mu Qingyan and the others were stunned, 
Unable to believe their eyes, Long Chen had already walked over to its head and patted it. Let's go. Long Chen was deeply moved. This red armored earth dragon had an extremely weak trace of the dragon race's bloodline. However, it was this tiny little trace that allowed it to sense the dragon blood fluctuations within Long Chen's body, causing it to prostrate towards him. It was willing to be controlled. Long Chen was growing more and more suspicious of the dragon blood in his body. There had to be some secret to it, or such a terrifying earth dragon wouldn't act this way. Long Chen had it stay still as everyone walked up its back. It was like climbing a mountain. Li Kei and the others had chills as they followed. Seeing its eyes that were the size of a whole house made them tremble. However, to not be looked down upon by Long Chen, Luo Bing was the first to follow. Seeing it not move, the others also relaxed enough to follow. Once everyone was up, the earth dragon stood up again. Li Kei and the others felt like they were taking a trip through the gates of hell. As for the Luo Gate's disciples, their clothes were soaked in sweat. They were under the greatest pressure. They walked through the path of beasts, arriving at a camp. They finally saw countless inner academy disciples busily coming and going. Upon reaching this area, Long Chen showed his tablet, and they quickly received their own temporary tent. The tent was large enough to fit both guilds people and still be spacious. There was a large sand table within the tent. It was a three-dimensional map. Come, let's discuss our strategy. Do you want to drink soup, eat some noodles, or directly eat meat? Asked Long Chen. 